two. Hello, VOD channel viewers. I'm back, uh, and I'm in a much better mood today than the last few times we played Frost, uh, Fallout 4 Survival. So, I'll let you guys know, in case you want to just skip forward, that we're going to change up the rules. We are going to start from scratch again. I know, disappointing to lose all that progress, but uh, we were a bit stonewalled, and I was not enjoying it. But I'm going to make a few rule changes where I added a couple of different mods to make things easier. Uh, and I'll kind of explain those as we go. <clears throat> but uh, first off, I do also want to say thank you to everybody who has offered advice, tips, um, suggestions on like different mods or rule changes that we can make to make this experience better, because I am really excited to give it a try. I did some testing yesterday, so we should be all right today. I, I think we're going to be OK. It should be still fairly challenging um while also keeping the gameplay somewhat fast-paced and fun i'm waiting on a coffee right now i'm waiting for my coffee to brew i'm gonna go grab that in a minute or two here so we can just hang Thank out you, kind and sir. say what's Mary up Holman, youtube doesn't need to know no no youtube definitely needs to know we gotta let the vod channel know it's still peacetime okay maybe we'll probably go to war soon or you guys on Twitch will probably go to war with the VOD channel soon, but for now, we are friendly. Is there a rule regarding debuffs to my actual sanity as well as in-game? I think my sanity in real life should remain okay. It should be all right today. Cherk me, thank you very much for the Prime. Thank you for four months. Merry four months, Miss. My favorite holiday. I love it. Do I get any paid time off? Yeah, actual bird. I'm excited too. And the more I thought about it, uh, I actually did this weird thing where if you were if you were on the last stream and you saw how it ended, and you saw just how down I was, I'm not kidding you. I was genuinely like not well. I was I was embarrassed um, because I just don't like to be that vulnerable and frustrated and just not enjoying what I'm doing. I've never not enjoyed recording on stream. And in that, I I, I don't know. It was so weird. So what I did, I, I ended the stream and not even 10 minutes after it ended, I just turned on my camera and started recording like my instant reaction to it and how the mod had affected me <laughs> negatively. And it's so funny that one of the big themes of the mod is insanity and letting go and all that kind of stuff. Because I, in real life, was kind of being driven insane. Um, but I, I also think that there's a compelling story to tell there of just how rough this mod was. And then also explaining how we've made it a little bit easier and been able to enjoy it. Hopefully. I'm hoping we enjoy it today. I really, I really think we'll, we'll enjoy it a lot more. But we'll be all right. Started streaming at the perfect time. You were bored out of your mind until now. Hopefully we have some fun today. I think we'll have fun. Uh, also, I, I do have to say. Juve, me and my cat, Mr. Handsome Bobansom, are here to hope you do well this time. Mr. Handsome Bobansom, is that the actual name of your cat or did you make that up? Because if you actually gave your cat a name with. Handsome Bobansom, five syllables, that's impressive. That's quite a lot. But give your cat my best. Thank you. I appreciate that numbers. Thank you for the tier one. Um, but what, what I, I was going to say is anybody who has played Frost or a lot of the people that have experience with this mod who have reached out to me and said, dude, I get it. Like, there is no shame in getting really frustrated because that's just what this mod does to people. There's almost been this community sort of like, <laughs> we get it. We understand your pain. It's like watching a friend watch Breaking Bad for the first time. And when they hit those certain moments in the show, you're kind of watching over their shoulder like, yep. Yeah, that was my reaction too. You saw a big tabby called Mr. Handsome? Okay, so that must actually be a pretty common name for cats then. Uh, give me one second, chat. I'll be back. I'm going to go grab my coffee. Should be Thank done by you. now.
It's been a while I'll leave you since all I've with Chair. In. I'll let Chair Just run the stream for a minute or two. Graduating next fall from college. Make sure we get a good... Glad to see you at doing well. Oh, Kevin's gift. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Sorry I missed that. Just finished my semester and you're graduating next fall from college. Congratulations. Go get that degree. Okay, I'll let, I'll let Chair handle this for now. What degree are you getting, by the way? Just curious. Chera's always dressed. He's wearing my White Sox jersey. It's Frank Thomas. You can't really see it. It's in reverse. But he's always dressed. He's dressed for the ball game. And I know. I know my White Sox kind of stink, but... My name is Skyler White. Yo. My husband is Walter White. Yo. Would it be all right if you posted a Reddit link from the... Um, if Automod doesn't block it, go for it. Chair's Letterman jacket. You're right, this is, this is Chair's Letterman jacket. You're a psychology major. Maybe you should write a paper on the insanity of humans with this mod. I think there's an interesting... Maybe thing to write about tilting in video games and the different reasons people tilt. Whether it be competitive or... Um, you know, uh, it's, hard, it's hard to... Usually it comes down to competitiveness or like feeling... a feeling of being less than your opponent. Am I going to play Avowed when it releases? Oh, yeah. Definitely. For sure. Also, this is my little Star Wars mug. I'm very, very corporate with my uh, Star Wars avatars. Why do I keep cutting out? I'm not sure. The stream has not dropped any frames. Am I cutting out? Hello? Test, test. One, two. Check, check. Wait, yeah, does it get rid of Yoda? Because he's green? <gasps> it does! I mean, Grogu, not Yoda. Sorry, I just realized I, I just slurped directly into the mic. I apologize. <laughs> That's gross. What kind of roast? I always have a light, uh, a light roast. Light roast, French vanilla, and then I use heavy whipping cream as my creamer because it has no carbs. Easily the best creamer. Heavy whipping cream, best coffee creamer. 10 out of 10. Hazelnut's pretty good too. I fell off of hazelnut though. Don't like hazelnut as much. Not sure why. I really did. I fell off of hazelnut. My jacket looks so cozy. I hadn't worn the jacket on stream in so long, I completely forgot to. I don't remember where I had it. I think it was in my car, and I just left it out there for a while, and I didn't wear it. But all right, let's, uh, let's get into it. I'll kind of explain some of the rule changes that we made as we just start, you know, engaging with the mod, creating a new character. We will be making Jacked Frost today. Huh? Or, uh, wait. It was Jeff Frost. Jeff Frost was our character before. Now we're making Jacked Frost. Right? I think we, I think we can all agree on Jacked Frost. How lactose intolerant are you? I'm not, actually. 
Jeff Probst. <laughs> I, I do like, I did think, I was like, how can we make it sound like Jeff Probst? Jeff Probst, that's how we would do it. Uh, okay, relax, speedrun timer. You don't have to get, you don't, you don't gotta get going. Am I gonna be angry guy again? I, I am really trying not to today. We're actually gonna do a pretty balanced build. From the discussions I had on my Discord with quite a few people, um, just trying to talk through their experience with the mod, what they would suggest, different character builds, and the mechanics that I want to engage with, we're gonna do a different kind of build. Where last time we went full strength, full endurance, because of the circumstances of the mod, We'll change it up a little bit. Just let go. It'll all be over soon. It's just are we doing a new starting point? We are not. We're going to do access tunnels again. We're going to do the vanilla start, the cannon start for Frost. Um, but there's a few changes we'll make as we go through it. Uh, but I have to make sure that we can make jacked Frost properly. Truly honored to have been the one to supply the name Uneasy Pete. Wait, Lizard, you, you got both of those? All right. No more. We can't take your next suggestion. We'll do this one. But you're banned from suggesting uh, names after this. What was the beard I used? What do you think, hon? I guess beard that looks good. And then we go with the... Bleached. I mean, that that looks ridiculous. I love it. Best hairdo, best beard. Uh, I don't know. Can we get a better beard than that? I do like the mustaches. Thank you, kind sir. Maybe we'll go with the mustache. How did you? I just wanted to drop in and say good luck. Smile, however, I will drop out immediately as this mod is too scary for me to watch X Steel catch you another time. Azure Kirby. Did I say that right? Azure Kirby. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you for the tier one. Thank you for seven months. But I will say it shouldn't be too scary today. Uh, yes, we did restart, by the way. Exclamation point rules. I updated that list with some of the changes we're doing and sort of letting people know that the last time we did this, it broke my soul. So we're just going to start fresh with new rules. Fingers crossed. I haven't even encountered these guys yet. Who are they? All right, let's unmark that quest. We are going to get one error based on one of the mods that I'm running. All right, Jacked Frost. If I can remember off the top of my head. Okay, can I click out of the name? Let me click out. I'm done. I'm done typing. I'm done typing. I'm done typing. Thank you, kind sir. I'm already getting angry Rock again. <laughs> I'm already mad. How Lori and I appreciate that. Thank you for the tier one. Did I already lose? Enter. Enter. I'm not angry. I'm not angry. Why the fuck? Okay. Oh, all right, all right, all right. We fixed it. We fixed it. Okay. So we're going to go lower strength. We're still going to go little bit high on endurance i'm gonna go higher on charisma this time fairly low perception i want to go three luck we're gonna go somewhat balanced with endurance and charisma being our highest ones to start i'm gonna put a few more points in intelligence i want luck at three though because i want to level up twice and get idiot savant we're not going we're not going to, you know, abuse Idiot Savant, but I do want to have it. 
because on the off chance it activates on a certain enemy, it's going to really push us forward. Uh, we'll go agility four. Might go agility five or endurance seven. I think we'll go endurance seven. Idiot Saban is luck five in frost, but we're going to take two luck level ups. We're going to level up luck twice. Should I go int four? Are there any good perks on int four? I'll probably go with endurance. I'd like the red resist. So did you reach level 10 first or 100? Oh, <laughs> we hit 100 deaths first. I think we're just gonna keep it fairly balanced with some emphasis on endurance and charisma because I wanna actually use the economy this time, which, hold on, I'm gonna get one error here because of one mod that I did figure out was causing it last night. It's gonna say, yep, Shane, you messed up. Blah, 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 things are wrong. Okay, we'll keep the ambient effects on, but what we are gonna do today Here's the first big change. I'm allowing myself to save, um, and I'm not apologizing for it. There are gonna be some circumstances where we can't save, but one of the most frustrating things about this mod when we first started playing it was, you know, we would be, let's say we're in safe zone A, and in order to get to where our objective is or to the next conflict zone where there are enemies we're hoping to clear out, we'd have to go through one loading screen, two loading screen, three loading screens, right? And sometimes on the way there, we would find some loot, maybe a water bottle, maybe something we want to use for crafting later on in the future. And that micromanagement was super frustrating to have to redo along with extra loading screens and do all that just so that we could get back to the same combat encounter again and die in one hit. Now we can still probably die in one hit, but giving myself the opportunity to save right before that combat encounter, after we've done the micromanagement and the collection, whatever economy gameplay we want to do, I like that economy crafting gameplay loop. That stuff is fun on its own, but doing it multiple times was what really started to break me. That, that's what really, really started to ruin the experience of the mod for me. So if we allow that to not really be in the way, it makes things a lot better. Uh, we're also going to allow ourselves to save when we find a bed that allows us to sleep But the thing with this mod is sleeping it, It's really punishing if you sleep for a short amount of time Like if you want to sleep and save you automatically get punished because with the passage of time you get more thirsty You get more hungry. You have a chance of disease. Uh, you can get insomnia or uh, I forgot what the other disease is called if you sleep in really short bursts so if we only sleep for one hour or we just want to use a bed to save, I'm just going to save. Uh, we're, we're just going to save and call it a day. So right before a conflict zone, we're going to allow ourselves to save. So let's say we go to the outer open world. We can save right before we go out there or right when we get out there, we're allowed to save our game. But unless we find a bed while we're exploring the overworld, we're not allowed to save. So... That's one thing. We're also going to go into the mod config here and change a couple of rules. Uh, where is it? Unlimited. Okay, this stuff is all on. We'll leave that. Frost. Okay, so there's a couple of options we're going to change in here. NPC, keep that, keep that. Da, 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 da. I think we're going to keep all of these the same. So normally when you play this mod, there's a stat called sanity. You lose sanity when you kill humans or ghoul humans. You, you, you lose sanity if you are considered insane. There are massive debuffs uh, for your aim, so you can barely even aim a gun. That's why in the last few streams, my aim was like only accurate up to like one foot. Guns were basically useless. I'm not a big fan of that. So I think we're going to lower this to 1.5 per so we're going to lose less sanity when we kill things but i'm also going to allow us to gain one sanity point if we kill a feral ghoul 
We're also going. Uh, also, when you're insane, the economy in the game is basically useless, you so you can't sir. really trade. Hello, and funny man. Kind of just it kind of just turns into you catching a falling knife constantly. I don't know what this does, but we are going to enable this on main story hints. By default, it's off. I'm going to turn it on. Uh, maybe it gives us a little bit more direction in following Frost's main story. I would like to do that. Now we get to the cheat menu. Player general accuracy debuff. I'm turning it off. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Also, Dark Zion, I appreciate that. Thank you for the tier one. Brosif J. I'm a god. Thank you How 10 times as much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was very kind of you. Thank you for 10 gifted tier one subs. And Dark Zion, thank you for the tier one for four months. Uh, Bros, if I appreciate that. Thank you. So the way the way it works in this mod, I know I probably shouldn't have the speedrun timer on, but I don't really care right now. It's not an actual true speedrun. The way it works in Frost is there's a general accuracy debuff if you don't have specific perks for the guns you want to use. So you can take those perks and improve your gun accuracy we're just gonna make those perks irrelevant. I wanna pick up guns, I wanna use guns. I don't really feel like specializing in certain guns. I wanna find stuff, use it. That seems more fun to me. And then we're also going to remove the debuff if our player does become insane. We're just gonna remove the aiming debuff so we can still just aim guns normally like in the base game. Those are the main changes we're gonna make. It's very slight. Obviously, it's going to make this a much easier experience, but I think it's going to make it a much more forward-moving, faster-paced. All around, I think I'm going to have much more fun with it. And that's it. Now we can start. But thank you again to everybody for the subscriptions, for the support. Love you all. I appreciate it. Let's get after it. Back to it. We've already read through all of this, but why not do it again? The year is 2082. Five years after the bombs dropped, you awake in a dimly lit passage with no memory of how you got there. Though the bars of your cage you see, your captor appears unconscious. Let's get moving. What's my carry weight now? It's probably really low. Okay, 55 pounds. So our carry weight is really rough. I think we'll probably, because of the way we do this... Oh, one thing I did want to mention is, while we are getting rid of some of the debuffs at this mod employees there's still a lot of give and take to the gameplay right like since i have charisma i kind of want to sell all my armor and stockpile cash so maybe we go with almost no armor okay lead pipe we got a weapon janice's journal today i found a squirrel burying ants blah 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 we caught a tortoise tortoise stew long trip by the sea it paid off Hey, we've read through that. I'm just gonna take all the junk that I can to start off. Anything on you? Cash and a lunchbox. Might as well break this bad boy open right away. Drugs, longshoreman outfit. We'll take the bottles because we can hopefully store them somewhere and fill them up. Remember all that? Making all of our own boiled water? That was fun. Mine detector charge. I think I'll just take those and try to sell them. I don't want to equip them. The noise they make is useless and annoying. It's very obnoxious. No, I don't want radiation. Get out of my way. Okay, how's our weight looking? We over encumbered yet? No, we got 20 pounds. Let's go with the long shoreman outfit. Smiley hood. How are we looking? How's our look? Okay. All right, Jack Frost off to a good start. I'm trying to remember. There's a few doors in here. I think this one's locked. Requires key, Volante Station service key. I think that key goes directly to downtown, which that's the first place we want to get to. We want to get to downtown as fast as we can this time, and I know how we're going to do it. We're going to be quick. We're going to be much faster today. Although I haven't actually, okay. <laughs> I didn't technically get to save my game after we did all the rules and made our character, so Thank we'll start here. Pull out bog. I still don't know how to pronounce that name. I play, oh, I play SCP. 
Yeah. I appreciate Turns that. Thank you very much for the tier one. Sisters who always fight together. Numbers, you can't get the two Wood Elf Sisters notification and gift three subs. Okay, it doesn't work that way. It's not fair. All right, then the alert. Oh, okay, all right, all right. I'll leave you alone. I'll leave you alone, okay? Oh, gosh, I can already enjoy this so much more. I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> I feel like I, uh, it's so much lower risk at this point. I've been through it so many times. Oh, another thing we changed. Our perk tree, I'm not a fan of this layout. But this mod does add new Frost-specific perks to the game, so you can grab them. I do love Fallout 4's vanilla perk tree. I just love how it looks. Um, but that's going to give us a little bit more options with how we proceed. So what I want to do, the first thing I want to do is run past these fools. They don't seem to mind. Okay. Oh, crap. Wait, I have to find a bobby pin first. Okay, we gotta get through that door. We get through that door, we'll run into to the uh, Federation goons. When we find the Federation goons, we can hopefully pickpocket on our first try the key from them. I don't know if I'm ready to take on a 2v1, am I? Relax, relax. I'm just crossing. We'll do you it. If we have to, just leave. I can't, the door's locked up there. What do you want me to do? I'm running. Okay, they don't seem to mind. I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot with this little lead pipe. I think there's a better weapon if we go up here. Oh, sweet. We're already tired. I love that. I love how I'm already getting negative effects. Molotov, toxic cocktail. Ooh, wait, there's gasoline in here. Maybe I should just go smack them. Right? I mean, what's the harm? Let's just launch a Molotov. I feel like we should. I have to get rid of these two regardless, right? Oh, and they're both standing in the same spot. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Look, it's either you or me. I don't want to. One down. Two down. Targets eliminated. Grenade? Grenade? Bobby pin? Landmine? Whoa! Okay, it's about as good as it could have gotten. Bladed tire iron, that's a big upgrade to our weapon already. Um, maybe I'll hold on to the lead pipe. I'm not sure how much it can sell for. Point 0.1. Yeah, any junk that's only point 0.1, I'll probably take. Could be decent to sell. Where'd the second guy we killed go? I feel bad. They ran away and cowered in here. Where did he go? I burned him to a crisp. Do you get a sanity pe penalty? Yes, it's vanilla, it's minus two, but we changed it to minus 1.5. We also gain sanity back if we kill feral ghouls. Normally you don't get any back. Bandage, heavy metal right leg, metal chest piece. Yeah, we'll take this armor, and we're already over-encumbered. We'll just drop one of these then. So the explosive retrieval... I remember we found this last time. The bombs are stashed right at the front... Right at their front entrance. You'll need to dodge by whatever traps they have. Whatever guards they've assigned, it won't be easy. I know I don't need to explain to you how dangerous this mission is, but this is our only hope. We can't take downtown until we know they can't collapse everything in the process. We're fighting a madman, Don. This is the only way. So I wonder if that gives us any quest markers now that we have on main story hints. I doubt it. Okay, I'm not really sure why I would find anything there. Now, if we get up to the Federation folks, just upstairs from us, we should be able to pass a speech check with them. They'll give us access to their beds. I can call that a save. We give it our save. We scum until we get the key. And boom, we're in downtown. There you are. Don't run away from me like that. What do you got on you? Anything valuable? Pipe wrench? How's that better than what I have? Paint can weighs five pounds, so we'll pass. 
That only weighs 0. 0.5. We could probably sell it, so we'll take it. Okay, one bobby pin. I got this, chat. I got this. No. No. Maybe. Oh, a little bit of give. It's going to be further to the right, though. Uh, did I overcorrect? I don't think so. Ooh. Got it. And we kept our bobby pin in pristine condition. Are there any gamble notifications? Or is there a, is there a gamble going on? Also, numbers. I forgot to actually thank you. I was joking around earlier, but thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for the three gifted subs. Another novice lock in here. We'll come back for it. I think I want to hurry up and at least get ourselves to downtown. Have a home base. Oh, wait, mask. He's going to get pissed off at us. Excuse me. You, what are you doing here? Me. This is a what am area. I? What am I do here? Uh, forgot what we gotta say. I am lost. I need help, please. Actually, I think I have something already. Yeah, the dialogue is a bit all over the place with this mod. It's hard to really tell what's going on. I'm just looking for supplies. You are in the wrong place. You must get in downtown if you are a trader. Are you okay, man? <laughs> He's either really, really excited to see me with all he's got going on, or... Here, why don't you take a step forward? Hey there. Hey. I am lost. I need help. I think this is how I can pass the speech check and he tells me about the bed. I'm lost. I need help. Please. Good. You can use our beds, but don't touch anything else. Then get away from here. Beautiful. Thank you very much, kind sir. I will walk over to your bed and not use it. Nope. I'm just going to save my game. I am going to try and overwrite most of my saves so that I kind of have to commit to a checkpoint when we do save. Uh, but we should be able now to... Over here. 41% chance. I love those odds. If that's what you want. <laughs> all right. Look at all First death on the board. See, we can still die. We can still die. All right, well, let's not do that too many times in a row now. Okay, guys. Damn it. Folks. It's 41% chance. What's point far one times point far one? Those are the odds of us failing two times in a row. How about to the third power? Oh, you've got to be. Look at all that blood. Point far one times point far one. So 41% of 41% is roughly, what's half of 41%? 20.5%. So a little bit less than 20.5%. So to do it two times in a row, it was probably close to 18%. But then 41% of about 18% would be less than 9%. So it is about 7% chance that we failed all three of those in a row. Now, granted, each one is mutually exclusive, so this next try, the odds don't improve because we failed the other three. Don't think I won't hurt you. All right, we're, we're getting down towards, like, 3% chance of these four going all in a row. I gotta say, yes, gambler's fallacy. Uh, I took a, okay, weird educational flex here. Uh, random story time. I know you probably didn't ask for this. So when I was in college, um, there were a couple of main math classes that people took, and one of them that everybody hated. Everybody would talk crap about this teacher. Everybody hated this professor. They all thought this class was bullshit. It was statistics. It was it was a you know regular college statistics course. Nobody liked this teacher. Um, and then I took the statistics course that we had. People didn't like this teacher because they were like, he doesn't really even teach. He just hands you the packet of notes and all the formulas. And I'm like, first off, that's awesome. He just gives you like all the formulas and everything in like a professionally made packet that you can follow along. He didn't grade homework. He assigned homework that was meant to be practiced, but he never graded it. And then when you went to your labs, which were separate from the lectures, you would then go through the homework that if you did it on your own time, then you would be able to take a lot out of class. 
So I actually tried really hard in this class and I loved that style of learning. It just worked for me really, really well because what you put into it, you got out of it. Uh, and that class, all it came down to was the exams. So the exams in that statistics class, they were, if I remember right, they were about 20 questions each. So the pressure is fucking on. Pressure's on. You, like, you get one question, two questions wrong, that's 10% of your grade. But on the flip side, if you know your shit, you can do really, really well. So we had an exam and I was doing pretty well in the class and I had another exam in another class. So I was like, okay, I got to give and take here. It's kind of what happens in college sometimes if you're not the best student. Sometimes you have to say, I can sacrifice a little bit of studying in this class to focus on this one that I need. So I go into this lecture hall, barely prepared at all for this exam. I finish the exam in maybe a half hour. I was one of the first people done with the exam. And I'm like, there's no way I did that great on the exam. Pulled a 90 on it. Pulled a 90%, the best score on an exam I ever got my entire time in college. Anyway, I, I enjoyed statistics. I, I really did. It was, it was the one math class that I genuinely really liked. So because of that, and because of my love for statistics, I would really love if they could fall in my favor right now. Have it your way. Fuck's sake, guys, I'm, <laughs> I just told the whole story. The least you could do is give me the key. What is that, five times in a row? So 0.41 to the fifth power. That's the percentage chance of how many times we failed this. Getting on my nerves. You need to be hidden. Maybe you do need to be perfectly hidden. Although I swear, when I was practicing this before, I was technically found, and I was able to do it. Ah, okay, we could probably go behind this chat. Don't know you, scabber. Don't. Stop it. Stop looking at me. Undetected. <laughs> All right. Okay, we got the key. Moving forward. Moving on. See, now I can die and not have to just do all the collection and stuff we already did. Wait, wrong way. I'm going to die if I go that way. We got to go back down the way we came. So there's still going to be a decent amount of, you know, backtracking and taking notes and or at least taking mental notes. I haven't written anything down. Service tunnel key. Wedding ring. Medics? Actually, some decent loot. I might just be a drug runner. Because I feel like the negative effects of stuff like medics and whatnot are pretty tough. So it's not a bad idea for us to sell it in favor of getting ammo and whatnot. I don't know. We'll see. Van Buren, I appreciate that. Thank you for the 50 bits. Wait until you aren't found. <laughs> eh, that's all right. We have to we have to add on to the death counter, right? You gotta get those numbers up. New little notebook for Tears of the Kingdom. I hope it's good. I've actually still never played Breath of the Wild. I know I would enjoy it. I, I do, I do, I, I know I would like it. Okay, so when we first played this mod, this door was locked. Now let's get out of here, huh? Huh? Get out of where? No, I want to go in there. Why do you want to leave? Excuse me. Hey. What? I'm hey. busy. Why do I have to say hello twice? Why is it on me to say it twice? Have any problems? Maybe. Who knows? At least I'm not afraid to go to sleep at night. Okay, that dialogue actually made sense. That's new for this mod. How are you doing? Fine. Nothing else for now. Is this door locked? Residence home? No, it's open. Strange. Maybe one of the mods that I downloaded updated this door to not be locked because there was one update mod that adds a power armor station in here. Okay. Yeah, there, there's a few quality of life changes. So, boom. Look at this. Do you remember how long it took us to get to downtown when we first played this mod? It was uh, mm, roughly nine eight hours in total with this mod dog bowl canned dog food it's legal to take i'm taking it it's dog food baby we want to talk to this character first now this hey, conversation's strange 
What's your business here? My business here? Just want to do some trading. I, I don't want to die. I don't want to kill anybody. I am interested in knowing what's inside that house with those turrets. But for now, we're chill. Just looking to do a little trading. Then you're lucky. If you have anything worth selling, we buy it. We respect finders and buy from the keeper. Enjoy the freedom of trade. Excellent point. When is the screaming at people coming back? Oh, is that why? <laughs> I was wondering. People keep saying that in different ways in chat. Like, interesting, interesting. When do you get to scream at people again? Hey there. Trader. No, but I don't know what to do. Leave all your money in one of our shops and leave. Thank you, Federation Commander. I think we have to have that dialogue in order to open up the actual hardware merchant menu. You're watching the last VOD right now? Oh, the, la the last VOD was... Whew, lots of frustration. Hey, how are you? Hey. Looking for a weapon? Big Ozzy, how are you? You know, now that I think about it, since this is only five years after the nukes went off, everybody in this entire metro was probably really big Red Sox fans. Let's see what you have. Let me know what you'd like. All right, so we got the store open. Nice. Let's just start off with making some cash. I'm going to keep the explosives. Those are all pretty good. They do take up a little bit of weight. So knuckles, lead pipe. See, we can actually sell stuff for a decent amount now or get some cash. I'll get rid of the toxic cocktail. I don't think the toxic cocktail is very good. We're going to sell our armor, so we're still going to be a one-hit kill. Yeah, take the mine detector. The wedding ring. We're already about to make 200 caps. Sorry, not caps, dollars. We don't make caps in this mod. Keep the survival kit. Probably keep most of my drugs. We'll ditch the whiskey. Save the weight. Lunchbox will save until we break it open. And we'll buy out. Boom. Already up to $240. But look how much ammo is still. It's still, you know, $78 for one 308 round. I really hope we can find the deliverer again. I would love to have that. Got to get a gas mask at some point. 78 for a pipe bolt action pistol. Yeah, so we got to improve. Got to improve charisma. If you remember when we were technically insane on our last playthrough, the water filter cost almost 500. Now it costs only 200. We'll get out of here for now. I'm doing well this time because we've we're cheating <laughs> we're allowing ourselves to cheat but i'm all right with some light cheating as long as it's fun so we follow this way you know what i am gonna do there's a i'm hoping if we put our minds to it we can help turn this place around can't take that oh my gosh there's already the one pistol that i want it's heavily damaged though i don't know what effect that will have but i really just can I lift this? Will I get in trouble? Yeah. I want to go out here because there's an encounter where a few Alliance soldiers are going to get killed. Oh, damn. Here we go. Someone has an explosive gun. Those sounded like explosive rounds. Don't remember that light. Don't have the key. Valenti <gasps> No way to pick this Since when is that door locked? That wasn't locked last time Oh, we might have to make a little adjustment here Plasma cartridge That'll be good to sell I doubt we're going to find very many Plasma weapons Damn Can't pick this That's a bummer It was on the shelf next to the fighting soldiers last time. The key is in the bunk bedroom. Ah. And it's legal to take. Good call. Thank you, Chet. First time. Just try to keep it down. 
I was thinking about this yesterday when I was chatting with a few people on the Discord server. This, is, it's kind of Metroidvania. How this mod plays out. If you go with the cannon start. Flare. Should we keep the, I think we should use the flare gun. <laughs> I kind of want to. See if it's any good. We got a bandage. That's always good. Hooked pipe wrench. That just looks cool. Thank you, kind sir. Alliance fatigues. Those are going to get us killed. So we'll keep those and sell them. Look at that. 46 5 millimeter rounds? Is that what this, that's what the submachine gun takes? Okay. Well, we got a gun. Do we use it or sell it? I should probably use it just to clear out the first few rooms we run into. Gotta be careful here, though. Because I'm almost over encumbered again. Let's take the road goggles. Radiation resistance, that's always nice to have. How we looking? How we looking? How's Jack Frost doing? Wonderful. Mr. Power, I appreciate that. Thank you for the prime. Stealing? Why is that theft? So if we were going to go outside, I would allow myself to go outside this door and then save. Get that flare gun ready. Bring it on. It's on sight. Next person I see is getting a flare to the chest. I guess I could technically consider that a save. But I need to do one thing first. We got to find some wood. Probably should have gotten that from the trader. Because we have to make food. Crazy Kevin, if you want a full or at least an overview on the changes, I updated the uh, I updated the PowerPoint spreadsheet. Exclamation point rules. Welcome back to Handy Hardware. I miss Haley. Does anybody miss Haley's hardware? Miss that guy. Huh? Thank you, kind sir. Actual hey bird lady. I'm sure, I've got something you need. Are the rumors true? I've got a few minutes. Are you actually a bird? Thank you for the prime. Man, that was an awful joke. <laughs> that was terrible. Does he have any junk? Not really. Okay, $26 for one round is that's crazy. I'm gonna have to hold on to some of this stuff. Wait, how much is that some machine gun? It's worth 81. What if I go to my ammo plasma cartridge? 19 for each plasma cartridge. Okay. So the ammo we've got stocked up is just more. So what I could do. You've come to the right place. I'll take a look. Sure. Great. Here's what we could do. If we find something like that, then we immediately just go to the ammo. All the plasma cartridges for 352. And that gets us roughly 13 more 5 millimeter rounds. Not a lot. Mine detector charges. What are those way? Not a whole lot, but I'm not going to use them, so we'll sell them. I hate birds. They are so annoying and prideful with their stupid chirps and bird shit. Have I ever told you guys about how I have been attacked in my life by a bird twice? I've been chased down the street by a bird multiple times. Let's try something out here. I do have a mod where the inventory of all the down... Yep, downtown workbench storage. So all the downtown workbenches should be linked. So now we can go in here and we can drop off some of the loot that we don't want to use. Love this. Love, love, love this. That doesn't weigh anything. Let's just keep it. Store all the junk in there. Except I'll keep the bottles. We should be able to make three boiled water as long as we find some wood. Be careful out there. Uh, I don't remember the kind of bird it was, but both of them were along the Mississippi River. And, okay, all right, time out. Story time again. Uh, okay, so, 
the first time, uh, my dad and I, we went to a professional golf tournament right nearby us. It was really, really cool. It was really fun. Um, I know I'm, I'm telling you way more of the story than is needed, but it just, it, it adds to the whole day. So my dad and I, we go to our very first ever professional golf tournament. And for most of the day, we were walking around from hole to hole like, oh my God, look, it's Bryson DeChambeau. It's, um, oh my gosh, that's uh, Thomas Frubel Watson, right? We're seeing all these professional golfers and just amazed at like how they are able to accurately hit the ball. It's weird. When you actually go to a professional golf tournament, you're way closer to the people playing where if you put yourself in their shoe, you will think, how the fuck do they not nail people in the crowd every hit? Like, if it was nor you're so close, just walking between the holes and the whole event, that you're kind of thinking, oh my gosh, am I going to get hit with a ball? But it doesn't... Since for some reason my messages get blocked, I am going to donate through this. I play. They don't get blocked. I saw, I saw your messages earlier, I think. Unless something happened, but I don't think so. Um, I appreciate that. Either way, thank you. Uh, the worst gamer, thank you for the prime. Uh, regardless, I, I was talking about... Um, b -b 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 we go to the golf tournament. We were actually about to leave, and then we ran into a... It looked like a mother and her son. They were on the way out, and they handed us these two passes to hole 18, and they were like, hey, we're actually leaving... You guys look like you would enjoy this. Do you want to go to hole 18? And we were about to leave. So we go, yeah, absolutely. We would love to. So we go to hole 18 and we use these passes. What hole 18 is, it's the last hole of the day. It is an enclosed area. So it's like in the stands. It's like built up. You sit in chairs. It was free alcohol, free food, everything. It was incredible. And you actually get to sit rather than standing around. And we just got to go for free. Uh, so that was a ton of fun. We leave the tournament. Great day. My dad drops me off. I'm calling an Uber to go back to my apartment. And while I'm standing there waiting for the Uber, I feel this on the back of my head. It felt like somebody just kind of went like, went like that, right? Like somebody kind of flicked the back of my head. And I'm like, the fuck was that? And then I hear, Hur! and I go, holy fuck, there's a bird attacking me. I see my Uber. I have my phone in my hand. And I start sprinting, shoom, shoom, full on sprint. I am sprinting towards my Uber. He sees me running towards him, right? I had my phone in my hand and you know how iPhones have that one thing where it was not a crow. I don't think it was a crow. Uh, it's a specific one to the Midwest kind of by the Mississippi River, but not a crow. Uh, you know how an iPhone has that feature where if you click the um, power button multiple times in a row, it goes like bleep, bleep, bleep. It makes this like crazy alarm sound like, warning, we are calling 911. Which is like, okay, it's kind of a redundant feature because if my house was broken into and I'm hiding in a closet and I just wanted to hit that to call 911, I don't need it echoing out of the closet. Bleep, bleep, warning, the person who is hiding from you, whose house you have broken into, is in the closet attempting to call 911. So. I'm running, my phone is going off. It's five seconds away from calling 911. And I'm like, cancel, I'm trying to cancel it. I turn and look over my shoulder. Getting chased by a bird is the scariest fucking thing because when they're following you, uh, I think what they were trying to do was just kind of get me to fuck off. I was standing under their tree. I must've been standing under the nest and I didn't realize it, but this thing was not flapping its wings. It was just hovering at a constant speed. So I'm moving like this, and the bird, without flapping its wings, is just keeping the same distance, not getting closer. I'm not getting farther away. And in my brain, I'm going, oh my God, I'm gonna run out of energy. And I sprint, I get into the Uber's car, I slam the door. How's it going? Uh, how's your day going? I don't know if you just saw that or not, but I almost died. I almost got killed by a bird. So then the second time it happened, I was walking downtown along the Mississippi River again. Same thing happened. Whoop, felt like somebody flicked my hair like that. And my instinct kicked in immediately. 
I started sprinting before I looked back. I start sprinting, I look back. And it's doing the same fucking thing again, following me. I was so gassed. You know, I mean, I, I didn't realize how fast I could run, but I was also running in a part of downtown where there are cars and there are people seeing me. Like there are individuals who drove past and saw this crazy fucker running along the sidewalk. Like who the hell, what is that guy doing? Do you think it was the same bird? Is it possible? It might've been. That's even scarier. What if he, yeah, what if he recognized me? <laughs> anyway, that's the story of how I was attacked by two birds. Which makes this scary stuff that's been killing me repeatedly pale in comparison. I want to say I've been attacked by three birds, but I don't think so. I think it was just the two. <laughs> I got Pavloved by birds. <laughs> Numbers, I appreciate it. Thank you. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, I'm going to go boil my water. And then I'm going to consider that a legal save. Do another bird impressions. Those ones were good. Is my bird impression good? <laughs> All right, we had enough wood to make one. Boiled water. I still have some dirty water. I think the first perk I'm going to get is lead belly. But let's move. Let's go back into hostile territory. Gotta get some food in me too, damn. All right, we'll find some food along the way. We'll be all right. Kinda sounds like Toad. Oh, from Mario. I thought you were saying I sound like a Toad. It's like, no, no I don't. I know what a Toad sounds like. Dozy, we're not, I'm not taking the cannibal perk. It's not gonna help. Promise. We're just gonna get addicted to eating humans. Oh, well. I guess if you think about it, there's a lot of humans I've killed. Maybe it wouldn't be that bad. Because there are a lot of human enemies you encounter. Cannibal could be pretty good. Do it for the memes. I mean... Ooh, okay. I get a save when I go in through here. Hunter perk, yeah, we definitely got to take Hunter. Oh, it actually... Oh, it just auto-saved when I came through here. Perfect. Stealth boy and a board. Okay, Minutemen. Let's see what you got. One survivor right up ahead. Ooh, that one's sitting in the corner enjoying a nice little drink. Oh, man, <laughs> I want to use this weapon more. Might as well. You know, I, I feel like I've been done so dirty by this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is up with those glow sights, though? E chill, chill. Take it easy. Oh, yeah. Now we're playing Fallout. Ooh. Just gotta take it easy with that aim. You're still alive, Christ. What do you mean still alive? None of you have hit me. <gasps> Ow! I actually got hit. Not bleeding. I feel like I should. Do oh, your head has been crippled. You gotta be kidding me. Better hope there's a doctor's bag in. Ooh. Oh my god, how? I'm how am I already losing? I'm I'm overpowered compared to last time. I guess that's a good thing because now my head's not crippled. Joke's on you idiots. Okay, bring it on. Where's my Ooh, okay, I got a lot of grenades. We got a incendiary grenade. 
Fragmentation grenade. We got a landmine. Let's go with the incendiary grenade. Pop this one into the corner where the goofball's sitting. Toss a flare over there. Target down. Playing games with me, huh? Ooh, ooh. Okay. Back it up. No, oh, now it's just a massacre. Oh, get back up. Did I win? I think I won. Just double check. Oh, guts everywhere. Baseball bat, we'll take it. Bandage. <clears throat> Jaguar gas mask. I wonder if this looks cool. It kind of does look cool. I gotta have a gas mask at some point, so we'll take it. Heavy metal chest piece. It's worth 190. Although I'm... Damn, I'm already over encumbered. I gotta get a backpack. Anybody in here have one? No, no backpack, no backpack. Let's try to find one of those first. Another flare. Suppressed tuned lever action rifle. They had some good guns in here. Honestly, this run in general, there's been some really good weapons. Yeah, the gas mask is decent. I liked our goggles, though. The goggles were fun. Okay, my two guns combined are 25 pounds. So we'll have to leave that one behind. Flare gun only weighs two pounds. Board, that only equals one wood. So we can just drop that one. Should be able to go back and buy or make some food. Thank you, kind I'm for sure going to have to come back here, though. Yeah, the last streams were my training arc. This is now the redemption arc where I just... I forgive myself and I mean that's the theme right isn't that the theme of the mod let go I let go of my stubborn attitude I embraced the challenge of the mod though we're gonna have to backtrack quite a bit because now I want to go back home get some of our water or cook up some of our dirty water we can make some boiled water no food back there though Eh, Dwight. I don't know what I don't know if I want to go through all this nonsense. This is a lot of backtracking. Oh, sweet, we can go. No, I have to scrap the weapons. Okay. Well, when you think about it in terms of food, if we have a lot of antiseptic, then we can make the roasted glowing mushrooms. Those are pretty good. Finger bang Frank, thank you for the tier one. What a name. What a wild username. The mentality is dumb stuff as long as it's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Usually it's for the bit. I don't think permadeath frost would be... I mean, I don't even know if that's possible. I feel like there's just too many dice rolls as you go through it. Maybe I'm wrong. Yes. Okay, this does work as our downtown Thank storage. You kind, sir. Gotta admit, it's nice. Possible Whopper. I appreciate that. Thank you very much for the tier one. I did see that there are some Frost permadeaths on YouTube. I also didn't realize how many YouTubers have played Frost. Honestly, it was it was kind of news to me. I missed the boat on this mod for sure. Yeah, you would have to have some crazy knowledge of it. Super impressive if you're able to. I was trying to explain it to my friends. I don't think they really understood how difficult this mod is, but I was like, okay. So none of they haven't played any Souls games other than Elden Ring, which I know, I know, Elden Ring, it's the easiest Souls game technically. Well, actually, but for them, it was pretty tough. Um, and honestly, for me, it was pretty tough. Like, this is just a tough game. But... Uh, I was like, this frost makes Elden Ring look like 
a game of patty cake. Like, it's so insanely hard. <laughs> so, so ridiculously hard. What is Horizon? For Fallout 4 months, I did see the Wanderers playlist of Horizon. And I was wondering what is, what the hell even is that? You're so bad at Elden Ring, you can't get past the starting area. I mean, it's, it's definitely pretty tough. It's a tough game. If you want to play a Souls-like, but you want it to be really, you know, much less stressful than a regular Souls-like, give, uh, give Jedi Fallen Order slash Survivor a try. Definitely don't play the second one without playing the first. I'm almost done with the second one. I just started the third act. Uh, no spoilers, please. No spoilers in chat. Anybody who has played Jedi Survivor. Uh, first off, absolutely fantastic sequel. Um, the first patch that they, that they put out completely addressed most of the performance issues that I had. Uh, it's just, it, it's better than the first game in almost every way. Other than a couple of ways that I can't really talk about until, you know, that's like spoiler territory if I were to talk about it. But I, I got into the third act last night and uh, I the, the, the big twist that occurs in this game's story, I totally fucking saw it coming. Totally saw it fucking coming. Literally called it in my head like an hour into that fucking game. Nah, maybe a little bit longer than that. Ooh, I should probably... Should we catch Thank some sleep? Time, did we not make our water? I'm, I'm getting too distracted. Feel better, but still parched. Yeah, and we're always just going to be short on water, aren't we? Let Luke Azad. Thank you for the prime. Would I play Fallout Iowa or Fallout Des Moines? Fuck yeah! <laughs> Are you serious? Hell yeah, I would. I guess the combat is samey from the first game in the same way that Elden Ring is samey to Dark Souls and whatnot, right? Like, they're still very much the same game, but it is a sequel, absolutely. Much more customization, much more options. The enemy variety is significantly better than the first game. Way better. Uh, way smaller focus on fighting creatures and doing way more cool Star Wars shit in this one. Like, there's way more stormtroopers and battle droids and just the enemies that you want to be killing in a Star Wars game. Those are the enemies you're fighting in Survivor. Where it felt like a lot of a lot of the first game was like, ooh, now you get to fight planet frogs. Now you get to fight planet frogs that shoot spikes. Maybe I'm wrong. I haven't played the first one in a while. Sorry, I'm getting a bit distracted and we're not being as productive as we could be. But I am just taking time to enjoy myself a little bit here. Gather some bottles. Dirty water. We gotta find food. What is my... What is this look? Okay, I'm... I don't know what's going on with my look this run. Something's off. Can I just go back to the rough gas mask? I like that one better. Urban. Fungal... I don't remember exactly what fungal moonshine does. Probably almost, yeah, I got seven more pounds of weight. Let's get to the end of this tunnel and just clear it out for now. We'll keep all of these glowing fungus nearby. We gotta hit level two though. We also gotta get lockpick at a certain point. I don't know, there's a lot we gotta do. You maintain that people are food. Maybe we will... ...eat people. Is that what chat wants? <coughs> did, did I just splash coffee all over myself? We did restart the run, but we restarted the run in a way... <coughs> ...where... 
we're going to be able to move a lot quicker. <laughs> or at least I personally will be able to have a lot more fun. Is it cheating if I just light these guys up? Does that feel? It feels Bush League. I mean, there's a lot of them, and they just have baseball bats. <laughs> I feel bad. Although I am going to burn through all my ammo relatively quickly. It's not much of a bad thing, though. Oh my god! <laughs> Too powerful! Yeah, that's right. Okay, I'm definitely going to go insane really fast on this run. Even though I nerfed the sanity buff, or debuff. Ooh, we got cram. Ladies and gents, we have access to shit food. But it's edible. Try hitting heads if you're low on ammo. Well, I, I mean, I feel like I have to burn off my ammo so I can just get rid of this gun. Ah, uh, now we're three pounds over. We're gonna drop the tire iron. And we'll drop the... Get rid of one of those. Damn, there's still so much loot here. There's a lot going on. Is this a locked door? It is. There's also a trap in here. I remember that room. We'll come back for it. I'm back tracking again. I'm back back tracking again. Actually, I've heard spam is good. I've Thank never had spam. Sir. Not spam, uh, fried spam. I've heard it's pretty good. Isn't fried spam uh, an Eastern thing? It's not. Forrest, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for the tier one. Thank you, kind sir. Hey, Juve, can you tell me a joke? Um, I'm trying to think of one of my grandpa's jokes. One of my grandpa's jokes that uh, isn't entirely tasteless. Um, uh, <laughs> he's got. Oh, he's got one. Oh, and it's so corny. It's such an old grandpa joke, but, uh... Nah, see, it wouldn't work without the full tail behind it. But it's about a lady who... Her son gets swept up by a tornado and, like, taken away. And she prays to God every day, Oh, dear Lord, please bring my son back to me, please. I've lived my whole life raising this child and all that, and then, you know, the tornado actually comes back down, but it's just delivering her child back to him, or back to her. She's holding on to her child, she's very excited to have the child back, and then she looks back up at God, he came with a hat! Watched him deliver, I watched him deliver that joke when I was, I think, nine, to an audience, and they loved it. Whole place went crazy. Like, <laughs> it's such a corny joke, but... That place loved it. Gotta go fill up our water again. Need more wood as well. Let's just take care of scrapping our baseball bats that we got. You don't get it? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Look, maybe I ruined the delivery. We'll, we'll go back to the writer's room. I think I am. I'm going to sell this some. Oh, I can't. I think I need to go get sleep sleep. Pass a day. Hopefully the. Keep your hands where I can see them. What? Need I tell you of my exploits in this tunnel so far? The people of downtown, they're so rude. Ah, oh, crap. I don't have the bottles on me to actually refill. All right, let's get a good eight hours rest. We'll figure out our food and water in the morning. 
Big 30, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you for stopping by, and thank you for watching all of my dumb content. And then she said, he came with a hat. Funniest shit I ever heard. Yeah, it's... It's not that great, is it? Okay, well, my... I don't have the storytelling ability. I can't just pull it off the top of my head. Hello? Come on, loading screen. You forgive me? Thank you for your forgiveness, chat. Yeah, we can just add it in post. Everything happens in post. What do you get when you cross a joke with a rhetorical question? I'm going to just restart the game. It should have saved. All right. Except now my speed run timer doesn't want to move. Oh, come on. <clears throat> Give me two seconds. Sorry, chat. Technical difficulties once again. Sam, what's up, man? Okay, now it should be all right. What the hell? Also, my performance has certainly taken a hit while in this room. Let's just pop through another loading screen. Something is going on here. God dang it.
Sorry about that. <clears throat> Wallet 4 is running in the background right now. I don't know if you could hear that. It was very slight. When I moved live split, it is. It's running in the background. I don't know if anybody heard that, but when I was moving the uh, live split around, I could hear like whatever that noise is when you're like alternating the uh, zoom on the map when you're on the pip boy. That was really strange. OK, so we were at 13 hours. All right, let's see if it goes now. That's why it started dying, though. I was I was running two instances of Fallout 4 at one time. I'm surprised the stream didn't drop any frames. Come on. All right, there we go. Now the timer's moving again. How we look in? All right, it looks like it's cleaned up. I'm gonna sell off this gun. It's already a bit overpowered. Although crap, I don't think the inventory is gonna reset. Hi. I'm sure I've got something you need. Let's see what you have. Let me know what you'd like. 10 millimeter round, bullets and bones, gas mask. <clears throat> Good radiation resistance on that gas mask. I'd like to keep the flare gun. It's only two pounds, but 15 pounds for that gun, that's quite a lot. So we'll sell that off. 206 for a water filter, probably because my charisma's debuffed right now. Wait a minute. Can I... I have an idea. Maybe we uh, we could try to go sell. Yeah, the buyer. I forgot about that guy. We go into the bar over here. We can go to the other uh, vendor. Yes. Good to see you, my friend. So did you find anything out? Listen, I questioned every yes. soldier if I didn't find it. How are you? You're. Oh, look at that cute little tattoo. If anyone can survive that. It's really uncanny to see pre-war Nick Valentine still. I know we saw him last stream, but it's still weird. Okay, I remember what I wanted to do. Insist on going through with this. Go find some real evidence. You sure you're remembering that right? I don't want to keep jumping through loading screens. You've wasted enough of my time. But I am going to try and fix up my water and my food as best I can before we go trade. Be careful, all right? Try to get a decent deal from the buyer. Yeah. The tattoo means he's a gunner. Do the, do the gunners have forehead tattoos like that in vanilla? Today I learned. Six. I need nine. There we go. Worth every Looking handsome today. I appreciate that, Fedora. I need to get a haircut, though. Then we can be more handsome. Who skinned did Nick steal? That'd be kind of crazy if he did that. Ooh, I shouldn't take that door. That's the bad luck door. Three of those. Go to our pre-war food. Two cooked cram. This will get us some sanity back. 
We need to go kill some feral ghouls, though. I'm probably running low on sanity. We've taken out quite a few people already. Feel better, but still peckish. All right. Yeah. I guess we'll go with it. It was common to have your blood type tattooed in Vietnam. Again, today I learned. I'm getting so much knowledge today from chat. Thank you, chat. Yeah. Out of my way, Valentine. The buyer, this guy. Looking to buy? Uh, 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 hey, but uh, stop. Can we? Okay, you really could have built this space with more, you know, square footage in mind. I've got a few minutes to browse. Let me know what you'd like. He has 3,000 caps? Okay. We're coming to this guy every time from now on. Did not realize he'd have that much. I don't even have that much to sell him. <laughs> Damn it. I really don't have much to sell him at all. Let's take 100 caps. He has 30 water filters. Lots of junk. Doesn't have any aid items, though. He only has water filters. They only weigh 0. 0.2 pounds as well. Not a bad idea. But I think we'll just keep saving money. Let's try to just stockpile as much cash as we can. Let's go get a level up. We'll get one later. Our, our water and our food is still at a decent level right now. Have I been playing for 14 hours? So the timer we have is, is our total time in this mod, just in general, in our whole experience with it. Like that, Alliance, that, that. Save that. Keep the rest of the junk in there. Now let's go drop off some more armor to him. Get a few more cash. Yeah. A few more caps. Yes. Yeah. Why couldn't they have just done caps? Just go with caps. Wait. No, 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 no. No, cut. Excuse me. I'm sure I have something. Okay, I thought I about broke the game again. Sure. Let's take a look. Great. I don't like this place. Everyone has face tattoos and they're looking at me funny. Uh, wait, hold on. I'm going to keep the bladed tire iron. Because I don't have any flares, or I might have one flare for my flare gun. Yeah, I got one. All right, at least I'm armed. I'm more worried about personal protection. Huh? Does it have a main story? I think it does have a main story quest. Or, I mean, I know it It definitely does have a main story. Am I allowed to go this way? Is this even the right way? Why am I getting myself so confused right now? And why do I always come through that loading screen looking down like I'm sad to leave? Aww. I'm not sad to leave. I'm happy to make progress. Are British people real except for Japo? Um, yes, I can confirm. I have conversed with more than one British person. I know, this may shock some of you. Is it hard to install this mod and get it set up? I didn't have too difficult of a time. To be honest. I didn't have many issues. Pool cue only weighs one pound. We can turn it into wood. We'll take that. Spiked lead pipe. That worth anything? Nah. Three and a half pounds for 19 value. Not enough. Take a few more bottles with us. Might leave some of them in here, though. We can grab them later. Twenty. 
20 pounds. Dang. 23 pounds, but it's going to sell for a good amount. I'm going to take that armor. Quick damaged pipe pistol. It's worth 38. It weighs less than 3 pounds. I can stomach that for now. I feel like cigarettes should be worth a lot. No, only worth one. Drugs. More dirty water. Crystal. Damn, three pounds? Get out of here. I could grab that later, but I doubt we ever get to the point where we're building a settlement. It'd be fun if we did. Am I planning to play Fallout London? Totally. Yeah, I think it'll be fun. Thank you, kind sir. Awesome two months, Juve. On Twitch, at least. Awesome on Twitch and not elsewhere? Or awesome in general? Jayaichi. Did I say that right? Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you for the prime. Thank you for two months. I need to put my jacket back on. I'm chilly. How's it going today? Solag, I think it's going well. I'm having a much less stressful experience with this now. Although I think we're probably going to start to run into some issues we have to work through coming up here soon. Basketball, sharp mahogany baseball bat. 26 damage. What does a tire iron do? 19. Three pounds versus three and a half. I think I'll favorite the baseball bat. Get a landmine favorited. I like the cadence, the swing speed of the slow weapons. I like them a bit more. Dandy boy. Dirty water. I'm just going to drink some dirty water. Properly hydrated. Thank Dandy you, boy apples. Sir. Luckily, I didn't get sick. RK, thank you. Thank you for the tier one. I appreciate that. How are you? What was that? Oh, it was just, it was the crackle of the fire. Anyone down here? One person. Back off. This is mine. So that's oh my gosh, that was quick. I was not ready for it. <laughs> no. Haha, -ha, joke's on you. This is my cheating run. Back off. This is mine. Congratulations, you psychopath. You've leveled up. All right. Switchblade. Only weighs 0.8, so I'm going to take it. That's easy money. Three bucks. Vault suit, bobby pin, pork and beans, crispy squirrel bits. And we're back to being properly fed. Okay, so no debuffs right now. Still can't open up that door, that's all right. Pool cue, one pound. Still not over conumbered. Would love that camera, though. I think this door goes into different parts of the tunnel. Yeah, it does. Any traps in here? This goes up to the back bay. I don't remember the back bay. No, I really did just get totally screwed up there. Wasn't this by Hubris Comics? I don't remember if this goes outside. Although, based on the length of this loading screen, I think it does go outside. I don't want to do any outside exploring right now, though. I'm not ready to take on radiation or... I will take the XP, though. Let's get inside and take Lead Belly. I think that's the first perk I'm going to take because throughout the rest of this entire run, I'm going to be drinking water. I'm going to be getting diseases. We're going to be getting radiation. 
Let's just limit the radiation we take from food. Okay, Fenway Swinger. Sound of mind. I might actually take this perk. Two-handed weapons swing 30% faster, and you move faster while swinging them? That's a decent perk. And that perk wouldn't have been there before. Sound of mind, you are determined to stay sane. As long as your sanity is above 90, you deal more damage? No. Iso adopted. Thanks to your relationship with radiation, at 500 rads or higher, you get criticals faster. Armorer. See, it is, it is a bit hard to go through the perks a little bit. Although I think, like right now, these are all the strength perks. And then when you see perception, these are all, these are the perception perks. Then when you get to, these are the endurance perks. So wait a minute, where's... Do I not have it yet? <gasps> Lead Belly's Endurance 8? I did not know that. Okay, we're gonna take Endurance Training. And then next level we'll take Lead Belly. I didn't know it was Endurance 8, damn. All right, all right, we'll go Endurance 8, then we'll take Lead Belly, and then I might go Luck for two levels and take Idiot Savant. So we still gotta level up quite a few more times. Oh, that's a bummer. I could have sworn. I, I guess for this mod, it makes sense that Lead Belly requires a little bit more endurance. I will say I'm very glad that the extra perk point we used when we were creating our character, we spent on endurance. Let's go check the ooh, quartz. Should I save it? I should probably save it. It's 15 radiation. Okay, apparently the bottle it gave me. I'm over encumbered. We'll grab the metal chest piece on our way back. Ooh, I'm not dumb. Don't try to fool me now. Do I have my flare gun? Aha, one shot. Can we do a two for one? Oh yeah, <laughs> let's go. We can, the flare gun is overpowered. It's my new favorite gun in the whole game. Excuse me. All right, all right. I've gotten enough training from the last time. I should be able to win this fight. There we go, one down. No, 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 no. We don't do that, okay? All right. No running away. We've talked about this. Ooh, that plunger. What's that worth? Two wood? Ah, it's only it's one rubber, one wood. I guess we'll take it. Torch, coffee cup. Cash register? No cash? Pack of cigarettes. Maybe someone will buy that off us. I feel like there's more people in here. I know there's a trap in here. No. Nothing. Thank you, kind Ooh. sir. Right here. Just got here. Is this day three? It's the only explanation for you having 121 deaths in only about an hour and a half. Did I, uh, smile. Anbu, I appreciate that. Did I, um... Here's the grenade. I might have forgot to update the stream title. This is day four. I had to take a couple days off after the frustration of the last few days really got to me. But we uh, we definitely nerfed the challenge a little bit. Made it a bit easier for ourselves. Flipboards. We'll take those for now. Soap terminal, nothing in there. Should be some good loot in here. Woo! Got it. First try. Mac and cheese, dirty water. Is that roasted fish or rotten fish? Roasted fish. That's good. Hang on to that for a little bit. Expert lock, sad. Cash. 
Take another bottle. Guns and Bullets t-shirt. Damn, I was thinking it was a magazine. All right, this exit right here, this takes us back up to Good Neighbor. Y'all remember Good Neighbor? We killed a lot of people in Good Neighbor. Far too many people than we should have. They had it coming, though. Can't blame me. I only did what was necessary to survive. I wish I could carry this back with me. Don't think I'll be able to. What do we got? We're 12 pounds over. Yeah, we'll have to go sell that later. Do one more backtracking run here. It was better neighbor by the time I dealt with it. It was better neighbor because it was no neighbors. The neighbor in Good Neighbor was completely removed, and that's why it was peaceful. Will they even include your molding? Lol. I think so, T-Bone, because I think the way I want to go about the mod is... Or the, the video is I want to go with, like, cold open intro, molding. Here's how I got there. And then we get there. And then we... Can I take this with? Yes. Can we take this? No! Damn it! Just a little bit too much. Three pounds over. Okay, at least we can sell that, uh... Lever action rifle. We'll sell that one off. Uh, so then after we reach the point of I quit, I give up on this mod, we can probably draw some connections to the theme of the mod of letting go, where I accept defeat, I let go of my stubbornness, and we make the mod a bit easier for ourselves. So, Lexa, I put, if you go to exclamation point rules, I have a link on there to the main Frost Nexus page, as well as the installation guide. There's a couple different ways you can install Frost, but I also have listed on the exclamation point rules little list thing, um, or on the Google document, Google Slides, whatever the hell we want to call it. I also have on there a couple of the additional mods that I added and some of the rule changes that I made for my personal preference. The decapitation saw blade. We'll probably get some of that in there. Hopefully it doesn't get me in any trouble. That would be a bummer if I went from... Oh, damn it, now we're over encumbered again. Come on. It really bothers me every time I come here to fill up water that the textures of the wooden pallets underneath the water fountain are blurry. Does that bother anyone else? Okay, well... What can we drop? We'll drop the lever action for now. Just put it in there. I'll come back for it in two seconds. Jeff is still alive and kicking. Uh, this is actually jacked. Jeff is long gone and dead. We killed him. Watch your back. It's probably going to take a little bit to get this video done. I... I always want to aim for two weeks between uploads, but because I, oh, I, I'm, I'm moving, by the way. I didn't really tell you guys this. I'm moving. Um, uh, I'm actually moving up to live closer to my family. And I never really had a chance to tell any of you, but thank you. If, if it wasn't for, you know, people supporting the channel and all that and whatnot, I wouldn't really be able to move and live closer to my family. And I'm really looking forward to being able to do that. 
Uh, end of this month, actually. So, yeah. Cool little life update there. We're going to sell off our drugs. Is Frost permadeath? It can be if you want it to be. But, you know, I mean, you got to think about it. It's it's a creation engine game, so you can make the experience whatever the hell you want it to be. Whatever rule set you want to play by. You're only constrained by whatever you want to be constrained by. I'm going to sell off drugs. I'm going to keep Jet, though. I like Jet. I love being able to slow down time. Stealth Boy, let's get rid of it. Blood Packs, I'm going to keep. Although they do weigh 0.5 pounds, but... I, yeah, we'll, we'll take the cash. Well, now we're starting to stack up cash. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this a little bit more. Now that we're stacking some cash up... It looks like he only sells junk. Let's see if we can get some wood from him. Toy cars are nice. We'll take some toy cars. That's four wood. And then I'm going to buy a water filter. Just one. Look at that. We're breaking, not breaking even. We're actually coming out a little bit positive. One water filter for one purified water. That's going to help us out a lot. Heavily modded, normal difficulty, and when building houses, you 100% use cheats. If that's how you want to play, by all means. If that's how you have fun, I encourage it. No reason not to, right? If, if there are changes you can make to a game that would make it more enjoyable for you, why not make those changes? I, I do think, though, there is something to be said about sticking with it uh, if, you know, whatever the end result is, is more, I guess, rewarding, if that makes any sense. Like a Souls game isn't nearly as rewarding to beat if you make it really easy. You're more than welcome to. But that's sort of the... Let's get out of here. What are you... Okay, what... You figure out your own problems with your job. It's not my, like, job to, I don't, I don't know, get you through all this. Hold on, we can go one dirty water to get purified water. So we can avoid using our boiled water. So now we can hold on to five boiled water, one purified water, and get rid of some of the dirty water that we have. Let's head back home, grab our little lever action rifle. Now that I think about it... Kind, sir. I'm an idiot. Chat. Why did I get rid of the fully automatic submachine gun when I'm totally gonna need it to take out, uh, I'm totally gonna need it to take out the, uh, feral ghouls. Yes. And my next objective right now to get some of our sanity back is to go kill feral ghouls. Cult of bread. Thank you for bringing your cult here. I hope everybody in the bread worshippers, uh, union is... Uh, they, I hope they feel welcome. And I hope that this stream is the yeast of your worries. Mm. Huh? Huh? Can we get some bread in chat? Can we get some gluten in chat? Can we get some hype for, uh, activated yeast in chat? Can we get some carb hype up here in the chat? You want to do some trading? Let's see what you God damn right I want to trade. Let's do this. How much is it to buy my gun back? <laughs> 500. Oh, that's such bullshit, man. Come on, just let me have it back. This is craziness. Can't be doing me like that. Woo, 150 for that lever action rifle. I mean, it is, it's tuned. Costs a thousand to buy. Damn, should I even be getting rid of this? That's really good. Aren't I on keto? I am. But that doesn't mean I don't love bread. Yeah, we're going to take the cash. Probably could have taken a water purifier there. 
Uh, I got like 150 for it, but it, you know what? I am. Sorry, I hate to keep backtracking, but I am going to grab two water purifiers from this uh, clown. Because while I'm adventuring about, I can just turn dirty yeah. water <clears throat> into purified, save myself a lot of trouble. Yes. Invest in my future. Hey there. Looking to buy? I've got a few minutes to browse. Okay, jump scared. Let's not. Have some tact. How much for two? 390? Isn't it kind of like taking a tolerance break? Um, I mean, it's different for everybody. And when it comes to any kind of diet that's not just burning more calories than you take in, um, you know, it, it always comes down to just like how it makes you feel. I'm you know, it's important to be conscious of how your body feels. We need to cook. I, I really wish there was a cooking spit in here. It would just be one less loading screen. Um, but kind of. It's kind of like a tolerance break, in a way. Alright, we got our pork and beans. We got that cooked up. We can carry about another 30 pounds. For me personally, I found that when I am on keto, I have more energy. Um... Feel a bit more motivated. Perchance it's completely placebo. But it also does help me, you know, with how much I sit. When I combine it with actually raising my desk up and walking, trying to get between five and 10,000 steps on the treadmill each day. It certainly helps. I when I When I am being consistent with it, I feel significantly better because I spend a lot of time sitting and a lot of time not in the sun. I got sunburnt yesterday. I went out and sat in my driveway. Like I set up a lawn chair in my driveway, whipped off my shirt and just sat there and let my mid body just hang out. And I, my chest is pink. My whole chest is pink and my whole back is just paste. I don't think I wanted to go this way. No, 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 no. You know, you know which way we're going to go? Let's go to the tunnels. You remember the tunnels we went to last time? Let's check those out. Hopefully we can take out a feral ghoul or two. Yeah, down this way. I don't like this ominous red. This is a locked door. Never mind. Should probably try to find some Radex, though. Which, of which I don't have any. Okay, I remember this part. There's three landmines. We just gotta make sure to play this smart. Don't do anything stupid. The landmines. Collectify them. There's one more. There's totally a third one here. Speaking of Radex and a toy car. It's right there. Woo! <laughs> I got so excited I grabbed his foot. Ew, it's crusty and caked in mud. Better not be finding out anyone in this chat has a ghoul foot kink. Not that I'm hating. To each their own. But that looks very... Um... It looks very... Calloused. Right, it's too quiet down here. Gate key. Hold on, don't like all that radiation. We're gonna pop a rad X. Sure, we got a little bit thirsty. But I have enough water to offset it. Let's go through the door. Ooh, I wasn't ready for that. Hello, nice to meet you. All right, dear. Ooh. Any more of you? I'm not risking it. 
How the hell did you just eat that? That's ridiculous. Ooh, good swing. Ball tech lunchbox. That was a really satisfying swing. There we go. Get the headshot. Take him out. Move through. Got to be quick. Cue ball. Anything else? Anything else? Dog tags. Ew, gross. Yucky. Lots of XP. We should have gotten a lot of sanity back there. I am going to double check real quick. My, um... I want to double check the command. There's a command I have to use. Uh, actually, does, does anybody in chat know the command, or could you look up the, com the command on how to check sanity? I think it's the player that get av a a sanity. Oh, there you go. Okay, so we can check it. You guys can't see it, but my sanity right now out of a hundred is seventy seven point five. All right, before we go into this tunnel any further, I hate to keep backtracking you all. And I know we just took Radex, so it's kind of a waste. But I'm going to backtrack. We're going to go all the way back down that tunnel where we were before. I want to get the mining helmet. I don't have the sanity tab. No, I, I can just enter the command in and check it real quick. I should have gotten that mod. But yeah, I think when it gets to minus 20, you're considered insane by the mod standards. Add end to your the and you're done. Yeah, you want it to be higher. It starts at 100. So we've lost 20... 22 and a half sanity points. So we are, we, we do have to make up for our sanity loss. It's just a little bit less harsh than before. But as soon as you go insane, like as soon as the game makes you insane or, or you hit the insane level, then trading is almost impossible. It's like a severe nerf to the trade values you get. So we, we certainly don't want to get that far. Make a purified water, save the boiled water. All right, we're getting close to level three. We want to hit three. Got to get lead belly. Hopefully the mining helmet is still a static spawn. I'll be a bit bummed if we come all the way back here. I'm just going to load a save. Kill less humans, drink more beer. So I made a change. <clears throat> the bitch should have a, have a Voss reference. I could try to squeeze it in there. If I remember to. Um, but I did make one change to where we get back one sanity every time we kill a ghoul. So those are a feral ghoul. Three pounds for 50. That's a good value. We'll take it. Five pounds for 30. No. Jim Kennedy's journal. I've already read most of these, but I've had such a hard time piecing together any of the story. The boys keep saying the Federation's gone to shit. It'd be more accurate to say the Federation's gone, period. Between the muty attacks and those commie fucks down in Postal, there's only a handful of stations left to fly the old MF. But life goes on. Here's hoping for a good harvest. Bad news from downtown. Some fancy pants asshole came down here claiming to be a quality assurance inspector. Said Marchand himself thought our shrooms were shit. My man Ian dropped him before he could get out another word. He's going to have quite a shiner to show Marky Mark. Marky Mark? Wait a minute, Marky Mark? That's, uh, that's Wahlberg. Did Mark, Mark Wahlberg make it past the apocalypse? Did he survive? We threw him in a preservation tube. Just when we all thought shit couldn't get any weirder, Marchand wasn't too pleased with the quality assurance inspector's black eye, so he, get this, exiled the entire station. This is some good tea. I mean, I wouldn't be worried if we weren't the last food producers the Federation has. I swear, Marchand's gone off the fucking deep end, and I, for one, look forward to seeing downtown burn. Good riddance. Okay, so people really have it out for downtown. There seems to be a split in the Federation faction between downtown... I thought I was about to get jumped by a feral ghoul. I'm seeing things. I'm still being driven insane by this mod, aren't I? I 
Uh, but it seems like there's some sort of like split in the Federation faction. Damn, only five years after the bombs dropped? I guess that makes sense. You'd probably start to see groups. You would probably, if the bombs dropped, you would see groups form up. And then really quickly, those groups would start turning on each other and become little factions. And then the outcome of those factions killing each other would probably be when things start to relax a little bit. Because right after the bombs drop, you'd have a few opportunistic, uh, you know, people who just kind of are really looking out for themselves under the guise of community building. Someone calls them out for their bullshit, but they go a little bit too far with it. People get killed. Things explode. Then after those faction uh, disputes resolve, things might calm down a bit. Oh, was the mining helmet there? Oh, it's further down. I think it should be right in here. Please. Oh, sweet. It is down here. Awesome. Okay, so we do get a mining helmet. The only bad thing is we can't combine it with the Jaguar gas mask. So we're going to run back to... The shitty gas mask, because that gas mask can combine with a helmet. Now we've got a headlamp. <laughs> Where's that armor? Didn't I drop that armor somewhere in here? On the stairs? Ah, oh, there was a thing of raider armor that was worth quite a bit. I knew I would do that. I'd be like, yeah, I'm going to leave it here and pick it up later. I'm just going to lose it. I do that to my wallet. Yeah, sure, I'll toss it. Toss it onto the couch. Totally won't lose it if it gets stuck in the cushions. Yeah, Scarlet, we're still in the we're still in the spirit of this mod, but I, I needed it to relax just a little bit. I needed it to take it easy just a tad. You know, get off my back. Might as well grab something since we're probably going to stop back into town. Oh, wait, no, we don't need to. Let's just keep making progress. Let's get back to where we were. Kill some ferals. Ooh, that headlamp is nice. Now you guys can finally see. That was the big reason I didn't want to go into the dark tunnels without chat being able to see what the hell's going on. Look at that, chat. That's immersive. I'm collecting items to make your experience better. Does anybody know, with experience of this mod, can your sanity go above 100? Oh my god, I forgot the mask! Good call. Totally forgot the mask. That's... Okay, alright, I can't let that frustrate me. <laughs> There's no way, compared to what the hell was happening to me before with this mod, I'm not letting a little bit of backtracking get on my nerves. I do want to get out of these tunnels, though. A flashlight in a game that actually lights stuff up. I know. It's so rare. It feels like every game that hands you a flashlight, it's just the worst excuse for a flashlight ever. Okay, we got the purified water, all we can get from it. I think we have three purified water now in our bank. I'd like to avoid using it, save the purified water only for emergencies. But it's good that we can build up a little bank. I guess I'll use it just to burn the weight. So if we do get thirsty, I'll drink it. Just so happens that it's much better than... Actually, I'm not sure by how much better than boiled water it is. Did I never use the lanterns? I didn't. Okay, so we can't go over 100 sanity. What does it mean to be ultra sane? 
1.5 for 37. Yeah, we like that. I want to stick to just grabbing lightweight, expensive items. Best as possible. Here's the gas mask I wanted. Yeah, it's not that great. But at least it combines with our helmet. We can still carry 17 pounds of loot. Oh gosh, armor is really heavy. Leave that behind for now. Quartz? Cola? Yeah, like it's a it's a horseshoe. If you're so you're so sane that you're insane. Like I'm so sane I don't even kill feral ghouls anymore. I'll let them overrun the metro. Ultra sane is when you gain massive yellow glowing hair and screen a lot. Super sane? I think we just cracked the coat. Get out of there. Get out. Get your head out of the sand. Already back to being thirsty. Boiled water does nothing. Open all hours. OMG, huge YouTube fan. I signed up on Twitch to say hi, Juve. Oh, that is so nice. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Hold on, I missed that message by Emperor uh, Chaco from earlier. I heard somewhere that during the Cold War, they did several experiments to see what would happen if there was a nuclear, nuclear apocalypse, and they found out that instead of things falling apart, people actually became much more united and productive. I Honestly, it, it's kind of that thing of, you know, when I grew up, we had a neighbor who lived next door who had a chainsaw. It's not going the way you think. <laughs> I wasn't living next door to, like, uh, Leatherface or anything like that. Um, and every now and then we had this big tree in our backyard, really big old tree in our backyard that I think it was dead, but it was still just really big and standing there. So during storms, a lot of times really big branches would fall off this tree, huge branches that you couldn't move without cutting them up into pieces. And every now and then when one of these big branches would fall, it would be the next morning, 9.30 a.m., 10 a.m. on a Sunday, and without us even asking for help, without us talking to our neighbor, he just would show up with his chainsaw, and he was chopping up the log that had fallen on our yard. Like, what? In, in, in our time of need, you were so kind to just, like, hey, like, that's awesome. So I guess, yeah. I mean, I'm sure there would be some buttheads, but especially if food is scarce to the point of danger you know people can get really really desperate but if you were able to figure out some of those things maybe it wouldn't be too bad you know what since we can actually save on this run let's just jump down here and see what the hell happens sewers i feel like sewers means radiation and more sewers okay well i can't get back up there oh third exit old north church wait a minute there's a quest there Doesn't Nick Valentine want us to go to the Old North Church? Oh gosh, so many options, so many decisions to make. Now I'm having fun. Sewer. Old North Church. Yeah, you know what? I need G. No, do I need Jesus yet? I don't think I need Jesus yet. What do you think, chat? Sewers or Jesus? Sewers? Jesus. Uh... Okay, let's go into the sewers, because after rolling around in uh, liquid fecal matter, then I would probably like to say a prayer. So let's check this place out first. I could have flipped a coin, <clears throat> but instead I used... Oh, look! We didn't even need Jesus! This guy already found right. poop Jesus. Malden man. That's a cool ass helmet. All right. Come on. 
Bring it on. There's no radiation down here. I'm down to fight. Ooh, easy. Thank you, kind sir. Almost died there. Oh, nice. The bleed killed him. Cultist head covering. 19 pounds? What is the strength of these NPCs that they can carry this much crap? Strange meat paste. It's half a pound and worth 30, so I'm going to take that meat paste. Wrapped, wrap and ripped jeans? One agility, one endurance? Not bad. Open all hours, thank you. I appreciate the tier one. I want to go investigate this place, though. Puncturing board? No, I think I'm going to keep the baseball bat that I have because it does decent bleed damage. 6.7 weight for 67 value. I will take that. I'm not sure it's that great. Let's keep moving. Isn't that weird, though? Our options were church or sewer, but then instead we came in here and we found someone praying in the sewer. <laughs> Come on, there's a church right next door. Okay, we're a little bit hungry. Let's take the roasted fish that we have. Properly fed. Use one of the purified water stored up. We're back to full stats. So I think I've heard that the Malden men, if we fight them, they don't affect our sanity. If we check, our sanity has actually gone up half a point. Maybe it did reduce our sanity. Because I've eaten a few pre-war things. Okay, this is a scary little maze here. Nah, I don't like this at all. I'm totally getting jump scared here. Hello? Oh, God. There's a glitch in the matrix. Who was that? Oh. I told you I was getting jump scared. Come on, come on. No, god damn, I completely missed. I like looked the wrong way. I just missed the dodge. All right, we got to take them out. They're scold enemies, so they're going to be worth a ton of XP. I can't believe purified water doesn't restore sanity. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay, just up here. Do I have a gun? Chinese officer sword. Combat knife. Oh, I do have a landmine. Nice, a little cooking station and a bed. Take note of that, just in case we ever end up in here again. I'm afraid to go around that corner in case my landmine explodes. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> damn it. Oh, of course. Of course. Cover your eyes, children. Don't look at the severed thigh. All right. Third time's a charm. Not going to screw this up. Now, imagine how much more frustrating that would have been if I had instead ran up and down the tunnels trying to collect one water bottle and one gas mask. But then I was forced to sleep for an hour, which debuffs me. Ugh, would have been miserable. Okay, let's put the landmine here so we have a little bit more running room. Hello? Angry cultists. Oh, where are you? Who? Ha! Who? It's me. Come on. Come on down. Welcome to Banana Peeling Fallout 4 edition. There's no way you lost me. I guess I could see it. This is a maze.
Nice, but it wasn't the scold enemy. Damn. Sultron blade, not that great. Ooh. Cultist metal chest piece. It's 33 pounds, far more than I can carry, so we won't be able to take it. Armor really is tough to take. That's a bummer, though. I don't like using the landmines on enemies that aren't scold. Like that one. Oh my god, a grenade? Ooh. You're not allowed to have them too? Oh, Jesus, I was not ready for a grenade. Two pounds for a machete, that's decent loot. That'll be good cash. Did that put a dent in the ground? Whoa, 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 are you seeing that? Look at how the ground kind of warps. Oh man, it only gets worse the further away I get. What am I seeing? Hold on, doesn't that kind of look like a face? Thank right? Thank you, kind sir. Tat, I've been subbed longer than I've worked at my current job. Watching while asleep, you've been around for a while. Thank you very much. Thanks for spending the last 12 months here. We appreciate you. Uh, it kind of looks like Kino Loy if he was wearing a, uh, like a blindfold. If you've seen Andor, you know who Kino Loy is. Top five Star Wars character all time. No debate. Actually, like half the characters in Andor take up the entire top five, <laughs> for me at least. Uh, there's got to be more in here. I'm allowing myself a little quick save here. There's a bed upstairs. It's within reason, right? Who's number one? Um... Uh, probably Luthen. Not gonna lie, like literally, Andor, Andor changed me as as a person. Probably Luthen. He's probably my favorite Star Wars character ever because of one monologue, one monologue in one elevator. Uh, made Luthen my favorite Star Wars character of all time. Oh my gosh. No wonder they aren't attending the church nearby. What are they worshiping? What, who are they praying to? Oh crap, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 I'll give them something to pray to. Haha. -ha. Haha. -ha. Pray to this, bastards. Oh yeah, <laughs> the holy triple kill. That's what I'm talking about, extended ripper. Oh man, it weighs 16 pounds though. I kind of want to just see what it looks like. Yeah, no. I'll pass. I like my little baseball bat. That felt so cheap. Am I cheating? Nah, I'm just being resourceful. Okay, but really. Hold on, who are those handprints? Malden man, Malden man. Nothing else really there. What's our sanity? So our sanity's down to 75.5, which is weird. We're definitely losing. I think you only lose half sanity for each one of the Malden men you take out. Let's go down, let's get it out of the way. We said we were gonna take it before, stick to our guns. Lead belly. Let's now make this more complicated than it has to be. E yikes, that's a lot of rads. I don't think I have rad X either. No, no rad X. How far is that tunnel, do you think? Looks like there's a little exit on the end. If we get nine rads per second, we can probably get through. Jump through it? Yeah, let's try jumping. Ow. Ow. Uh, whew, okay. Got a little home base here. Probably an enemy around the corner. Dang, this dungeon keeps going. All right, there's a lot going on in here. Mm-hmm. Okay, four separate TOS violations, all on pikes. 
And another little robot thing that they probably... Anybody else get Kenshi vibes from this? It just looks like something that would be in Kenshi. You know that, like, half-robot, half-human gore? Exit. Don't think this is the entrance that we took in here. Also, a ladder. Where does the ladder go? Damn, there, okay, this is a cool dungeon. There's a lot of different ways we can go, and I'm getting myself lost. Staircase to nowhere? Okay, I had a staircase just like this in my childhood home. Swear. Did I encounter a mannequin yet? I haven't, but I have seen them uh, when I was doing some research on this mod over the last two days, trying to make the experience a little bit easier for me. Doesn't look like Kenmore Station ladder. Uh, we got to take a look at our map. Let's see where we're at. So down this way, straight through. Yeah, okay. We're going to be lost. Let's just poke our heads into Kenmore. Oh, God, now that's that's just distasteful. That was creepy. Okay, so it's full of feral ghouls up here. Bobby pin. Wish I had some rad X. No skull. No gun either. Okay, okay, the, those sound effects, we don't need those. Why are miscellaneous train station sounds really creepy? Need a headshot. There we go. Uh, and I got sick. That's a bummer. Hacks syringe, calms the target for 30 seconds. Let's take syringes. Looks like they sell for a lot too. Another door. All right, so we got our first sickness. Whatever. It's not the end of the world. We'll find some drugs. Remember how long we spent on our very first stream trying to find a hospital? That was fun. Operator goggles, leopard print bandana. I kind of I kind of want some leopard print. It's very zesty. It's very Vegas. Overdue book. Are these even worth taking? Probably not. vault lunchbox. Hey, hey! Surprise, surprise, it opened up for me. That's it. Shorts. I'm taking it. It's a, it's a plus two charisma bonus. Summer shorts, two charisma. Only weighs two pounds. Might be worth carrying around for when we sell. Seems like what this mod, two charisma points, is going to save us a decent amount of cash on water purifiers. Should go a long way. I'm getting good at lockpicking, by the way. All right, let's check the door on the other end. I don't want to get too lost, though. We got to be able to find our way back downtown, because now we're getting really far. But we are exploring, which is kind of the fun of it. Back to the subway line. I have a feeling there's going to be scary stuff on the other side of this door. Oh, no. Just a regular guy, probably named like Gerald or something or Kevin. Just leave. Ooh, worth a hundred, only weighs three pounds. Gold watch, worth quite a bit, doesn't weigh a lot. So we'll trade that in. What weighs? Not gonna get rid of any of my weapons. Jaguar gas mask, decent price, decent weight. We'll get rid of that Raider left arm we picked up before. Keep moving. 
I I would I need to go through. Get lost. So that's it, huh? I don't even want to fight these people. I want to get the intimidation perk. Once we get the intimidation perk, we'll be able to point our gun at some of them and get them to calm down. I really just want to whip out my flare gun and be like, freeze! Scum freeze bag! Baby rattles? Why do they have so many... Yo, these people are sick. This is all they were doing? Welcome traders! All I would have done was trade with them. If they would have traded with me, I would have been perfectly okay with it. Uh, question, everybody. If they block the electrified sword, does it damage through a block? Twisted Slender, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks for the 500 bits. Finally got on Twitch to watch you. Always watch the VOD channel. Keep up the good work. Love what you do. Twisted Slender, thank you very much for watching the channel. Are you on, are you using Opera GX as a browser by any chance? Because I have totally tried to cheer in other friends' streams and it's fucked up and it hasn't worked. And I'd be like, oh, <laughs> I, just, I just screwed it up. What steps right here? Leave me alone. I have a laser sword. L not just a sword, laser sword. Just move along. It's it's lasers. All right, I'm gonna leave him be. Is this really the alternate path? Oh my, oh god. Should we go down? I think we should go down there, chat. Yeah, I'm saving. <laughs> Screw you guys, I'm saving. Can I survive this fall? Uh, eh. Oh, yeah, that actually wasn't too bad. That wasn't that bad. Nick Stuffin, we are. I'm, in, I'm enjoying it much more today. Okay, what is all that noise? Is it the skeleton? Ignored advice. The guys back in Copley always were, supersti uh, were a superstitious bunch. Talking about old world ghosts and the like. Ghouls were walking reminders of what we'd lost, and we had plenty of them in Copley, so they were much more than tall tales, I assure you. Whoa, holy run-on sentence. But there was one story I never knew whether or not to believe. Back in 2080, the Orange Line collapsed, cutting off Malden Center from the rest of the Federation. They say a rescue team went above ground to reconnect with the station. What they found? Death. Blood and gore. The whole place had been ransacked by cannibals. Everyone had a different explanation for where these cannibals had come from. Were they Alliance? Surface dwellers? Government-funded super soldiers bred from childhood? Nah, I didn't believe any of that shit. Malden never got attacked by cannibals, you see. They became the cannibals. You go deep enough, you'll always find that savagery in the hearts of men. Anyone can become a monster if they let go of their humanity. Thank you, kind sir. I am in the middle of story time. Thank you, Twisted Slender. Regardless of your rude interruption of my story time, I appreciate you. <laughs> Just playing. Thank you very much. Thanks for stopping in. We're happy to have you. Stick to the shallows, the Copley boys had said, lest you drown in what you find. If only I'd listened. Stick to the shallows. Um... Maybe I'm already not in the shallows. Can't we're I'm not taking the cannibal perk. Wait a minute. I was here before. That just took me directly back down to where I was before. He must be talking about the Malden men. So the Malden men are cannibals. I'm okay if we take a, a cannibal perk. I'm okay with eating Malden men. You know? Give them a little taste of their own medicine. Which way did we go? When we, we came down this little poison tunnel, we landed here. I want to say we went this way. Peckish from a lack of food. We're starting to get hungry. Ah, oh, 
Damn it. Wrong way. Oh, damn it. Can I make that jump? Oh, okay. Did we go? Yeah, I want to say we went this way. I feel like I remember seeing these three heads. I remember seeing that. I remember seeing this because then I compared it to Kenshi. We came this way. We took the ladder. That's the way we went last time. So this time, let's take the sewers here. Let's go this way. A little bit of a different route. Also, numbers, thank you for the 100 bits. Even though we're not a cannibal right now. Is this what they were talking about, about the deep water? Friendly feral ghoul. Bad. 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 Very bad. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> that's so bad. The hell is this checkpoint? Okay. That is horseshit. That's tough. How do we how do you get out of that? Let's right out of the loading screen. Flare gun, no ammo. Molotov, possibly. Stun grenade, sure. Let's go right into the water with the Molotov. Oh, what a slice. That was great timing. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. We've got... One of them had right away. Nice try, loser. Give me your cash. Taking on a ton of right away right now. Any rad X at all? No, none. No right away? I could have sworn I just saw right away. One behind me. No? Oh god, above me. That's bad. That feral ghoul has damn near unlimited health. What is happening? Oh, oh, strange meat paste to save me. <laughs> save me, strange meat paste. No. <laughs> Damn it, you all said the strange meat paste would save me. <gasps> oh my god, I set myself on fire. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's absolutely bullshit. That... He's laying on the ground. I, how can I not get a headshot? Please don't follow me through. If they follow me through the loading screen, I might cry. Okay. Yeah. We're going back to Kenmore. Come up here, looted up all of this. We, we probably need to get back to home base soon. We're getting a bit heavy. Oh, Fedora, m'lady. Mm. <laughs> what's, uh, what's that guy who does all those videos on TikTok? He wears like the <clears throat> Reddit fedora. I'm literally upset right now. Mm. Am I thirsty? Am I thirsty? I'm a little parched. <laughs> You're dead. Oh, okay. It does do damage through a block. Can y'all stop blocking my shit? I, 
hey, look, I would love to let you surrender. I would love to accept it. But you're worth just enough XP. We can't eat him. Chet, I do not have the cannibal perk yet. What are we hitting the Gwitty? <laughs> I, uh, I actually recorded um, a really stupid audio. Flares, flare gun ammo. Wait, what? Emergency flare. Oh, it's just a grenade. Uh, I, I recorded a, uh, ooh, doctor's bag. We like that. I recorded an audio and I sent it to Mickey D and I was like, hey, do you think we could edit this into something really stupid and funny? And I was doing my really dumb dark elf impression, like, oh, mm, oh gods, he's widow hitting the gwitty. Or what was it? He's widow hitting the gwitty across Moa wind. And what I was thinking, like, I don't know, somehow I'll have like a character zooming across the like sky. It was a really dumb idea, but I thought it could have played out really funny. Survivor. Ooh, hold on, wait, we have dialogue here. I like how I'm so stealthy that I can just stro strobe light them and not get caught. Huh? Hey, boss, what do you think that is on the other end? He must be speaking in Morse code. Well, what's he saying? He's saying, watch out. Stand near each other, please. Because I want to use my flare gun. Oh, fuck, I don't have any ammo. Because I want to use my flares and fuck you both up. That's what he's saying. Oh, that's, I love that grenade. New favorite weapon. Ah, ah, it's a pipe bomb. Oh, Jesus. Wait, no, where's my, ah, where's my weapon? God, that was close. I don't want to die right now. Gun. Okay, this is, ooh. Fall back. Fall back. He's armed. All right. looks like his accuracy is pretty bad. Let's just push him. Zigzag. Serpentine. Ooh. Gotcha. Man, he has good defense. He took a lot of damage there. He's got shadowed leather, 30 defense, 43 energy, 13, 20. 9, 16, 7, 12, 6. Yeah, he's got pretty good armor. 1.7 pounds for a pistol. I'm going to take it. We're going to use a gun here. I got 18 rounds. It's in decent condition. Only weighs 1.7. Cannibalism will save me. Thank you for the 100 bits. Um, but I disagree. I don't think I need cannibalism right now. What I need is to get back home because I'm running out of space. Oh, Letterman jacket. Finally, I can prove to everyone in the apocalypse that I played varsity football. How far from the start am I getting? I got to get back home. Copley Station. I read about Copley Station. I forgot what that note said. Damn, which one was it? Um... The note that we were reading, they mentioned Copley Station. It sounds like Copley Station is where a lot of the infighting occurred with the Federation and something about the cannibals. So we're probably going to run into either a lot of survivors in here or we're going to run into the Malden men. You counter... That's a decent counter. It'll make Chad happy if I eat people. That is $40 cash. You know what makes me happy, Chad? $48 cash and a snack. I love food. That's what I love. Let's see, what can we make up here? Mac and cheese? Can't do any beverage right now. Don't have enough dirty water. Also, they've got a nice little chemistry workbench here. Why was I expecting this place to be way worse than it is? Some more drugs. Do 
adhesive and steel. I probably should have tried making Caltrops. Someone's out here. Ew. Oh. 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 You hear him? There he is. They're there. Okay, let's see what we can do. I'm still missing. Uh, I make the game easier and I still miss all my shots. Nice. Keep it going. Keep it rolling. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Uh. Ow. That was a headshot. Come on. That had to hit. Get away from me. I'm tired of all this radiation. 762 round, another bobby pin. Damaged cash, that's good too. Damaged cash just sells for cash. Oversized heavy gauntlets. What is that? I kind of just want to see how those look. You cannot equip this item. Huh, I wonder if it falls under power armor? Don't sit on the bench. We're not just casually sitting around. I passed on that lunchbox back there. Oh, wait, they're weightless? Yellow belly syringe. Causes targets to flee. <gasps> Syringer rifle. Damn, okay, now we gotta really... Think these things through. Reactor coolant. It's 70 for one pound. Absolutely gonna take that. Um, starting to carry quite a lot of weapons. A lot of one pound grenades, pipe pistol. All this weight's starting to add up. We'll drop off the basic officer sword for three pounds. Come back in here. Three pounds for the gas mask. Don't really want to get rid of that yet. Yeah, the lunchbox costs half a pound. Toy car, each one's one pound but also two wood. That's pretty good to have. Half a pound, half a pound. Get rid of the oil can. Don't really need it. Damn. That's all my weight. We got to get back to home base. We are starting to get really stocked up. Machete. Worse value than the knife. Machete can go. Flare gun. It's not great value. I feel like I can find another one. So we'll ditch the flare gun. All right, we got to get back home. Let's work our way back. This was a really effective trip, though. We got pretty far. Decent amount of XP. Killed a lot of ghouls. What's our sanity? 72.5. I don't want to get in there. I feel like if it's an advanced door and it goes into a full dungeon, like the library, there's got to be decent stuff in there. Snuggle with the teddy bear. Chad, you guys make just the best suggestions ever. Okay, you get half credit. That was a good little scare. Did not see that one coming. Uh, our sanity actually did not go up from killing that feral ghoul. It's still at 72 point. Oh, it did go up. Forgive me. We got to be careful, though. We are losing a good amount of sanity. 
We're about a quarter of the way there. What? Which way did I come in here from? Oh. Okay, so... We gotta go back this way. Salisbury steak. Not accustomed to streamer being nice to chat. Brain not braining. Um... Yeah, no, numbers. We are going back. But uh, Zav, if I pronounce that correctly, you should have seen me on the last stream. I wasn't I wasn't being very nice. I was being a dick. I let my anger get the best of me. But we made the mod easy. Now we're having fun. I feel like I have no choice but to be nice to chat, right? I mean... It's because of all y'all. Like, of course, anybody who just like watches my main YouTube channel and doesn't really interact with anything else, of course, obviously, I, I very much appreciate those people. But part of the reason why the footage that we use for those videos is really fun and is super high energy is because people do show up to the live streams and they keep me company through really grindy sections and they make a lot of the dumb achievements we go for easier um you know i wouldn't be able to do what i do without chat we don't hate vod no 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 we love the vod channel no like we we do we we love the vod channel right vod channel don't let anybody in here talk shit okay you let me know anybody in the stream is talking shit to vod channel viewers i need to find out we're making pretty crazy progress today, though, in terms of our exploration. Th see, that's the thing that I wanted to have more fun with. Should I take? Hear me out, chat. One sec. Junk, mods, ammo, miscellaneous, overdue book. That weigh half a pound. We'll save the one and a half pounds on overdue books. Remember this exact suitcase, chat. Don't let me forget it. We're going to drop the overdue books in this suitcase on the way to the library. I feel like there's gonna be an overdue book terminal in the library, so if we ever do get the advanced lock perk, we can check it out. It's in here. This looks scientific as hell. No. What the hell is that door? Green door. Commonwealth, okay. That takes us to the outer world. Other side's chained up. Locked tight. Can't go through a one-sided locked door? Hmm. What if I go in this way? Oh, genius. Little cooking station. Rad roach. I might avoid killing the rad roach in case we take the hunter perk. Where did we come from? Thank you. I think it's down here. Timmy Bucket, how are you? Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you for the tier one. The suitcase. Uh, Crunk Mc McFungal. <laughs> That's a great name. Uh, what suitcase did I miss? Or what was in the suitcase? So, uh, Sassy Wimple, we've restarted twice now. This is our third character. This is the last one we're going to run with. Um, the first one, we didn't know how to do the cannon start. The second one, we did the cannon start, but it was just so heartbreaking and backtracky and drove me nuts. Can I fast travel? I think I'm allowed to fast travel while underground. I don't want to do that. We'll wait until later. Oh, shit, what was they saying? Uh, the second character... We did the cannon start, which is a lot of underground gameplay. I got... frustrated to an unenjoyable point. I quit. I took two days to kind of reevaluate what was going on. 
the angle that I want to take the video in terms of this mod really starting to piss me off. Um, and then I decided, okay, we're going to use some mods, make it a little bit, you know, change a few of the rules to make it more bearable. Like letting myself save the game normally. And go from there. The combat itself, moment to moment, is still difficult. Why didn't I go through this big red door? The Malden line. Oh, there's a there's a locked door to the Malden line. Okay, we should probably go here first. When we get back to town, we'll do some economy. And then we'll come to the Malden line. Yes, the Malding line. That's the that's the track of this uh, sewer that I was on when I first started. Oh shit. Y'all, nobody told me we jumped. I completely forgot we jumped down here. Oh no, we're stuck. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, there's got to be a way back, right? Old North Church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old North Church. Um, if we go Old North Church, then we can find our way back to Valenti Station. Absolutely. It shouldn't be too far. I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick, though. I'll be back. Obsidian Berserker. Very kind of you. Thank you for the tier one. Oh, that would have been a good tune. All right, I'll leave you guys with the chair. He'll manage the stream for a bit. Oh, the song ended? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Look, we can jam out to one together. Alright. Um, I forgot to mention, so, my dad, actually, came up with a joke that will end up in the script for this mo uh, for this video. And uh, we were, I was I was telling him or I was talking to him about how frustrated I got. You know, when we were in the middle of doing this mod, I, I was talking to him about just like how tough of a time I was having and you know, how I just I didn't really like like I, I was telling him how I was actually kind of embarrassed at how frustrated I let it get me. And we just were talking about how frustrating it was and how I likened it to, you know, 
like a dad doing uh, an at-home project and how eventually the suggestions from chat started to feel like a little kid going like, hey, dad, I think you should do this. And then dad being like, shut the fuck up, I got this. Um, and when we were talking about it, he was like, yeah, it's kind of like Ikea furniture. And I was like, that's it. That's the joke. That's the joke. We're putting it into the video. This is the Ikea furniture of Fallout mods. If you have ever put together Ikea furniture with the Allen wrench and you're, I mean, literally, like, you're twisting these fucking things in like this. Oh, my God. It's so miserable. And then it strips. So you got to grab a new Allen wrench and it doesn't fit properly. And then you got to get a new bolt because the bolt stripped. And your fingers are damn near bleeding by the end of it. Personally, I love assembling IKEA. <laughs> oh my god, that's the funniest thing I've ever read. Uh, I I don't say this lightly because I'm not all in on the new age lingo, but that is cap. <laughs> Caperoni with extra cheese. Let me get a large slice of caperoni. No, there's no way. There's nobody on this earth that can enjoy it. You feel better, but still parched. Huh? It's purified. Should be feeling great. Should we do it, Chad? Should we eat the strange meat paste? It's satisfying as hell. <clears throat> so, okay, I, I have I have a very bad experience with IKEA furniture. My buddy and I in high school, he had a family friend that wanted to hire him and one other friend to come to their house and build a bookshelf, a table, and two chairs, like an entire bookshelf, Ikea. And we each got $60 cash, and it took about eight hours, eight hours consecutively of two guys doing Allen Wrench Ikea work. I bet that bookshelf fell apart within two weeks. I bet it completely fell apart. Oh, it was so miserable. All right, fine. We're eating the strange meat paste. I'm properly fed. Let's go Old North Church. What time is it? Of course, it's 1230 a.m. Scary. Lots of radiation in here. Already off to a really bad start. Okay, one down. We're going to try and move quickly through here. Oh, Jesus. I'm going for the XP. Come on. Keep him stunned. Come on, die. 91 XP. Love it. We got to move, though. We're going to get sick. Door opened. Probably gonna avoid most of the fighting as we go through here. Come on, move, move, move. Front door. Not the front door. Oh man, it's dark in here. Steeple? I'm gonna have to jump for my life. I'm not gonna know where I'm landing. Deep breaths. <sighs> and pray that the enemies didn't follow us out here. Gotta find our way back to Valenti. South. We gotta go south. What kind of views do we got up here, though? Not bad. Can see kind of far. Honestly, playing the rooftop game isn't too bad, and we really lucked out. We're not in the middle of a storm. Can I make that jump? Whoo, barely. Very close. I'd say insert Assassin's Creed soundtrack, but uh, last time I did that, we got a copyright claim. Thanks, Ubisoft. 
All right, we've got a metro entrance here. If this is Valenti, I'm going to go nuts. No way. We're right back to where we were before. Look, there's that big group of ghouls from last time. How's it going, gentlemen? Fuck you. Ooh. It hurts so good. All right, that was a big victory. So now we've connected. We're right back downtown. So we can go to the overworld. And if we're able to make a beeline right to the Old North Church and clear out the church, then we have faster access to um, that part of the tunnels that we were just in. Or honestly, it's not even that far of a walk from where we're at now. Hey, be careful out there. So we built a connection point between here and the Old North Church. Let's hit the bar. Let's sell off what we can. Okay. Yeah. I really wish this place wasn't so crowded, but I don't blame them. There's nowhere else to go in the whole entire metro. <clears throat> you want to do some trading? I've got a few minutes to browse. Let me know what you'd like. All right, let's start with pipe pistol, knife. Uh, I think I am. I'm going to main the electric sword, so we'll get rid of the baseball bat. Stun grenades? I am going to get rid of them. Save up the weight. We'll keep the syringer because it's... Four pounds is a bit much. Wait a minute. Cancel the trade. Cancel. Cancel, cancel. Hold on, sir. I haven't put on my... Oops, wrong button. I haven't put on my trading outfit of... <laughs> why, why am I more effective wearing this ridiculous outfit? Is it because I'm letting the gun show out? Hey there. Looking to buy? I'll take a look. Sure. Here's what I've got. It's a very clean outfit. And it makes Jacked Frost's ass look pretty good. Let's let's call a spade a spade here. All right. Now we're pulling in 134. Yeah, it looks like we're definitely getting better prices. Doctor's bag is really good. Heal all crippled limbs. Save that for an emergency. Doesn't look like there's any drawbacks. At least I hope there's not. Mentats, Nuka Cola. I'll take the cash for it. I'm a little bit nervous getting rid of the quartz, though. Causes targets to flee. I don't know if I want targets fleeing. So we'll sell those. They're worth a decent amount. The damaged $1 bundles are worth a lot as well. Gold watch, we'll take the cash. Reactor coolant, we'll take the cash. So we made almost 500 gold there. 500 gold. 21 free slots you know what we need is a backpack that's what we're really lacking right now it might be a good idea to just try and go and massacre um good neighbor mentats restore oh they do that's all right we'll find a replacement What we got for bottles? One, two, three. Take the bottles. We're a little bit low on bottles. Yes. So 
But we'll pop in here and refill our water real quick. At least get one boiled, uh, boiled water. You're doing an insanity run, so what is there to spend gold on? If you're going fully insane with this mod, and you're talking in-game insanity, not IRL insanity, then nothing. You're pretty much completely cut off from the economy if your character goes full insane. How's the mod? I'm I'm enjoying it way more, Craving, now that we've given ourselves a much better chance of, you know, not getting completely screwed. Just keep your hands where I can see them. See, when you say that, it sounds like you're arresting me, and I, I don't like that. That's ucky. Unless you get trader level two, you're fucked on prices. We seem to be doing okay on prices. But I have put a decent focus on trying to sell stuff. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Hi. I'm sure I have something you need. Wait, I'm gonna put on my trading shorts again. My sexy boy outfit. Now that I'm looking hot and ready Let's to trade. Here's what I've got. Head over here. Let's get water filter. Now the water filter only costs 170. So that's a pretty big reduction in price. We can get four water filters. We're going to take those. Confirm trade. Because when you have the water filter, if we use our camping supplies, I think that's what they're called. Or is it survival kit? Yeah, if we use the survival kit, we can just pop in here and we can make purified water on the go. Did I just, ah, damn it. I got rid of my boiled water. That was a waste. But at least we have two purified water. Properly hydrated. We're still a little bit sick, so we gotta find medicine for our illness. We have lethargy. You'll always be welcome here. Might be a good idea to go to sleep here. We haven't slept in a while, so we'll get some sleep. Fast forward the time a little bit. Get a nice little consistent eight hours Thank of rest. Time, sir. Papa Jay, how are you? Thank you for three months. Thank you for the prime. I appreciate that. Welcome back. It's good to see you again. Back to being parched, properly hydrated. We're going to be hungry really soon. Yeah, I want to go get a gun. Let's get over to Good Neighbor. Or Scalay, it's called. Have we been outdoors yet? Very briefly. Not a ton. Do the ghoul, uh, do the ghoul characters have to drink water? Or eat food? If you're full health, the doc will cure your illness for cheap. We'll check that out after. I probably should go there with a gun in hand. Maybe I can find one on the way there. Yeah, Macalaria, we're actually making progress. At a, at a pretty reasonable rate. I mean, it's still moving a, a tad slow, but not nearly as bad as last time. Grab a couple bottles. We can at least refill with dirty water at some point. Oh. You were so dead. Nope, nope, ow, 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 ow. How do I blow this? Yeah, I know I killed him. I'm trying to keep my. S oh, I'm still in the summer outfit. Wait, no, why did the camera have to glitch out? That would have been a really funny ragdoll.
No wonder they attacked me on sight. How could you resist these nice little booty shorts? Come on. This is the cutest summer. I'm the cutest person in the entire metro. Oh, relax. Okay, you're just jealous that I look cute and you don't. I'm out here looking beautiful while also slaying. I'm slaying in two different kind of ways. Oh, <laughs> no, stop, please. Oh, at least my buttons are intact. All right, I've had about enough of your bullshit. Oof. Oh my god, oh my god, fighting in third person is damn near impossible. Ooh! Oh, you go! Look at me go. I'm a killer. I'm an all-star. Spiked board. I've always thought the hooded rags outfit looks really cool. Does it have rad resistance? Yeah, four. Just a slight little buff. All right, how's our sanity looking? Uh, 74 and a half. It's actually still up. Look, Wonderlust, third person in these games is meant for looking at your character and seeing their drip. Making my way downtown, walking past, faces past, and I'm homebound. And na 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 and I need you. Da na 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 na, and I miss you. It's crazy. I don't know if I'm ever taking it off. And now I wonder if I could walk. Into the place along the street and hit your face. Cause you know I'd walk. Oh, I should have said block. Cause you know I'd block a thousand swings if I could just kill you. All right, no more fucking around. All right. Huh? You are so dead. You, uh, you are so. Uh, ooh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Pack syringe. Quick, cover me. How long does it last? Okay, they're both calmed down. Now they're on my side. Ooh. All right, friendly fire won't work. So while that person's camped on the corner, we'll just... No, oh, ma'am, you can't stand in the way of it! Okay, at least I got both of them. Oh, no, that person has a rifle. Oh, crap, emergency flare away! I got punched! Really? One punch just- oh my god, it's an entire army. <laughs> There's so many of them in here. No! Oh. That was close. Okay, one gun. One gun right there in the corner. I got this. I got this. Go! Quick, 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 move in. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Why isn't my hand? Oh, that's just cruel. He shoots me in the hand. I need to stop having so much fun in Scalay or 90% of the highlights for this video are all going to be in this exact same town. All right. I got this. I got this. I just have to remember. Oh, my God. I did not even realize how nice these shoes were. At least I went with flats instead of heels. That'll keep me alive longer. Okay. 
In order to be an assassin, you have to think like an assassin. Or rather, think like your soon-to-be victims. Ooh. Heavily armored, wearing a mask. Backpack. I gotta get that backpack. Let's play this smart. Syringer rifle. Load up the pack, syringe. Fun fact, Fallout 4 is actually a cover shooter. Now we go emergency flare. Wait, what am I doing? I'm an idiot. Nope. Oh, oh god, I just tabbed out of my game. Hey, sweet, I canceled it though. Okay, back to the sword, because they're calmed. We're found. Can we have a conversation with them? <clears throat> I was trying to power attack. Okay. I I didn't even hold down the button. I tapped it. That should have been a power attack. <laughs> Okay, same strategy. I'm just going to be much faster with it this time instead of screwing around. Pack syringe. Hopefully I get to play a preview build of a video game here. Pack syringe. Target infected. Target is now calm. Confidently walk and approach your target. I got caught, but oh my gosh, look at the loot on this lod. 308 rounds. We got eight of them. We... No backpack? He's got two grenades and a hunting rifle. Got to make use of the hunting rifle while we can. Up, Not as much damage as I thought. Okay. Oh, I'm so bad. I need to stop dying. I could have sworn he had a backpack, unless it's one of the fools that are in the house right above him. So, all right, all right, here's the strategy. We go in here, pack syringe again. Sneak around. Calm down our target. There's two enemies on the upstairs of this building. Let's go with a Molotov. Hit the window. Miss like a complete moron. Well, they're screaming and they're in a bunch of, you know, they're, they're in terror and pain. Target down. Give me the grenades. Give me the hunting rifle. Hunting rifle active. Targets are burning while searching. One down. That? that guy can really eat shots. Unless they hit him in his forehead. Oh, it's because he's got spike armor. Rustic backpack. All right, let's see. Do we get a good buff? Not really. It only gives us an extra seven pounds. Nothing there now. What do you think? I don't know. Jump in the shadows. Yeah, you're probably right. Gotta cut down on the jet, I guess. Now don't start talking crazy. What are they talking about? <laughs> like explosions, screams of the fallen. <laughs> Must have been nothing. <laughs> Gotta lay off the drugs. Jet must be fucking wild. That's the only explanation. That it is just an incredible out-of-body experience. Heated baseball bat. Ooh, that looks cool. Okay, that looks really cool. 27, 21. Versus... 21, 15. 
Pretty decent bump in damage. Bit slower, though. Dirty water. That's right, all the food here is irradiated. I think those two people that we're talking are in this back alleyway. You remember those folks? So what we could do, now that we're at level... What are we at, level four? Now that we're at level four... We could go Hunter. Hunters are pretty good one. We're going to have to take it soon. Or Trader. I think I'm going to take Trader. We've spent a lot of time at the vendor trying to get the best prices possible to make this experience even easier. Let's, again, let's not make it as difficult as it needs to be. Let's go Trader. We have to get two points into luck in order to take Idiot Savant. I think that's what we're going to aim for next. Target down. Oh no, oh no. Shit's got ambush all over it. Where am I hearing these voices? You sure you saw hey, something? Huh? Damn it. Hey. Completely missed. How? Looks like the gates of hell are opening up right next to where that guy was at. That was close. Target down. I'm going to lose a lot of sanity while I'm here. Any armor that I can grab and take with me to sell? Leather chest piece only weighs five. I wonder if I can't. I don't think I could put that on. Yeah, the more they weigh, the more they sell for. Baseball bat's not too bad. <gasps> Woo! Don't scare me like that. Let's calm down that target. He's got the best weapon. Four shots left. <gasps> no! Oh. oh my god, no, that's it, that's it, that's it. We gotta do this whole part again. Doctor's bag, heal me up. Blood pack, save me. Target down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I knew it. I knew it. I knew he was going to turn around. Oh, shoot. I knew it. That was really dumb. That, that's the one that's actually a really good counter. If they have a ranged weapon, they're going to do really good damage if they move into their elbow bash animation. All right, I'm going to stop being so cute here. We're going to come here for what we wanted to which is the backpack, a little bit of XP, and then we're going to get out of here. Hmm. Don't mind taking the hunting rifle from this character, though. Time's up. Come on, let something slip through. Oh my god. <laughs> now, you see, this is why we save, why we allowed saves. Because if I had to do all this crazy micromanagement before getting up here, while it would be more impressive, it just would be very unenjoyable. So I can at least retry a tough encounter here. without wanting to completely pull my hair out. Uh, 
I don't know why I didn't do that to begin with. Trader. Okay. Why do they Give always gotta fight back? Does anybody up there have any guns? I've been assassinated in my summer outfit. Where the hell did that one come from? Okay, I'm having way too tough of a time with this. Came here to get a gun. Don't look at me. I'll find you. Time's up. Enough. Enough. I'm getting tired of this. Okay, new strategy. Strategy 2.0. Syringer. Packs. Hit the corner. Boop. Stun. Molotov. Through the window. Screams of the Fallen. Move forward. Sneak. How you doing? Nice to make your acquaintance. Dead. Back up. Grab the rifle, run back here, guy comes through, they're all burning, they're all screaming, in pain, ow, that hurts, look at this guy, clown, take the backpack, another dead body, take the baseball, ah! on the corner, Call of Duty? Oh, it's Call of Duty? Calm them down. Move back. Chinese sword. Did not do what I wanted it to do. I should have gone for the headshot. Oh my god, I got stuck on the staircase! <laughs> I need to stop dying. At least Jack Frost looks cute while they die. <laughs> at, least, at least they're dying in their spring outfit. They're Instagram ready for this death. We got the strategy though. Boom. Dart. Don't get too anxious with the standing up and the that and the whatnot. Come over here. Weapons. Let's go, emergency flare. Think you can hide? When you turn up, you're dead. Probably not the best strategy there to just launch the Molotov right away, but if they walk through it, they'll burn. Oh, it hit these guys? Oh my god, that's the most effective Molotov I've ever thrown. 
No need to hide. Trust me. Oh, Quit you. poking your head. That was close. He hit his teammate right on the ground next to him. I'm done playing around with this guy. Behind me. Oh, man. Stop. Just nice. I got kids to feed. <sighs> How did we get through this the first time? How the hell did we get through this the first time, man? Oh my goodness. Felt cute, might die later. <laughs> you cheering with Opera GX just to say, hey, it went through. Thank you for the 100 bits. Man, I mean, there's just so many of them. It's so hard to keep track, especially when I'm one shot. Need a drink. Real shit. Moonshine. You see, this is where I get stubborn. This is where I need to learn how to let go. I'm not going to be able to get it on him. No, we got it. Target down. Oh my god, she was invisible. You bastard, you were cheating the whole time. I knew it, they had hacks. Okay, longshoreman outfit, throw it on. I'm getting out of my sexy summer clothes. Dirty water. Dirty water, dirty water. Any of that good? Shit's got it. Bush all over it. We got our level up. Oh my gosh. I knew he was going to be there. <sighs> How do I keep blowing this so bad? This doesn't need to be as hard as it is. New plan. New plan. Syringer. Calm this guy down. No grenade upstairs. Do do do. Hang out here. Nice backpack. Wish I could have it. Target down. Target dead. Sure. Take a baseball bat. Get our level up. Move back to our inventory. Let's get those grenades out. Slow it down. Nice and quiet. Shh, 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 shh. What the? <laughs> Found your sorry ass. <laughs> hey, fuck this. <laughs> okay, two targets down. We at least got rid of the uh what did he have the choo choo mm -hmm. you know that sound railway rifle it's worth 290 14 pounds damn the ammo's heavy i'm taking it though take the baseball bat back take the damn i don't know what to get rid of hunting rifle take it back keep the hunting rifle Going with the railway rifle. Shit's got ambush all over it. Mm -hmm. Damn right it does. What the hmm? Who's there? Only a fucking time to reel them in. <laughs> oh no, how do I blow it? <sighs> God damn it, that was just such a bad fucking play. That was so bad. That was cringe. That was cringe. That was cringe. 
Slow up. Peek. Boop. No hunting rifle. Switch to the grenades. It's just a tough little battle. We'll get through it. What a throw. Fuck off. Dead. Railway rifle. Boom. Throw it on. I could totally give myself a quick save right here, but I feel like it that would make it too easy. Right? It, that'd be that'd be pretty cheesy, considering how many things we've given us. Or how many advantages we've given ourselves. Just gotta watch out for the laser shotgun. That's the gun I want. We gotta get that laser shotgun. On the other side of town. That's the one we gotta get. We need the backpack. One shot through spike armor. That's crazy. That's really good damage. Yeah, spike armor's got decent stats. Oh, I know you're here. I'll find you. I think they're still upstairs. Gives us a chance to make this easier on ourselves. I had a feeling that would happen. Only a fucking coward hides. You know, in terms of hiding strategies, I'm not really hiding that effectively. Make sure we get some of the water. Oh, wait, she's probably invisible. Yeah, she's definitely still invisible. We've had good luck with the Molotov, though. Yeah, now she's on fire. Come on, please work. Yes? Yes. Yep. There we go. Okay. All right. Thank you for cooperating. Mm -hmm. Backpack. All right. Let's take off these summer clothes. Drugs. More drugs for my convenience and collection. Honestly, there are so many drugs in the state house of this place. We would make a lot of money if we got it all. We'd have to be careful, though. Our sanity, after clearing out this whole town, sanity is going to be low. Ours is, we're down to 67. Three targets down. Main street looks clear. Wonderful, wonderful. Would love to find a medium-sized backpack out here. Oh, it's a laser musket. That's what they were getting me with? Doesn't sell for a whole lot. You know, I don't hate the railway rifle. But we're going to cut our losses. Yeah, you can gain sanity. Uh, I changed some of the rules so I can gain sanity by um, killing feral ghouls. There are certain pre-war foods you can eat that restore sanity. There are certain drugs you can take that refill sanity. There's definitely things you can do. Ooh, quantum, wild, bottle, bottle, bottle. 
now I'm gonna give myself a save. Now I consider it fair game to save. I'm back inside. I'm peaceful. There's a few enemies on the overworld I want to take out here. Right down this alleyway, there's about three of them. What do we got? Seven pounds free. Look at that. Heavy right leg, 19 pounds. Impact grenade. Federation Elite Fatigues. It only weighs four pounds. Let's grab that. Thank you, kind sir. Juve, smile. Spaceman, thank you for the tier one. Appreciate that. How you doing? Let's throw on those Federation fatigues. Upgrade our armor just a little bit, not a ton. Damage combat rifle. That's not that great. Still got a good 14 kills left in this pipe rifle. Sorry. Wrong name. Railway. Not much we can do there. A little bit hungry. Got any food? Uncooked Salisbury steak. I should have a toy car on me. Nope. Don't got any wood on me. State house is an automatic death if we go in there. Honestly, Hotel Rexford could get us killed right away. Save him before we go in. Last time we were here, we got jumped to our left immediately. Naturally, this time we get jumped to our right. Didn't realize I could get my railway spikes before. My god, they're just dropping ammo back for me. Let's try and get out of here with a bunch of drugs. Mule them back home for cash. Bingo. Live in love. My favorite reading material. Ah, uh, getting shook up over nothing. Hmm. Oh. Why are these people making all this damn noise? Ooh, that's a tough one. <laughs> Pinned him to the wall. Yes. Uh, it's heavily damaged, though. Still, look at that value. It's worth 311. Only weighs five pounds. We got to take that. And I just love the look of it. It's my favorite gun in the game. Railway rifle. Damn, it weighs 14 pounds. We got to get rid of something. We got to figure something out here. Fungal purge is worth a lot, too. 110. What do I get rid of? Point 0.5 for the lunchbox. Three pounds worth of bottles. Okay, now we're all caught up on weight. I really do like the railway rifle so far. But I love the deliverer. Even if it's heavily damaged. We're back. We're so back. We're so back, it's not even funny. Damn it. Okay, never mind. We're not back. Cancel the we're back party. Dog food, half a pound. Yeah, I could use a little munch. I don't need sanity. I need sprint. 
Properly fed. Drink some water. Properly hydrated. Alright, there should be more drugs downstairs. That terminal's just a- it's just a lower terminal. When we were back here, there wasn't much on there. Use. Uh, you know what we could use to save weight? I'm gonna drop the syringer. Feels like we found a decent amount of syringers. Pretty easily. How we doing on sanity? F Oy, we're at 48 and a half. It's starting to drop. Locks really Costume trunk. Generator schematic? I wonder if you learn that or if it's something you have to have in your inventory and you can also sell. Can't open any of those. Ooh, back room. Mac and cheese. Instamash cram, good amount of food in here. Wonder glue, dinner fork, screwdriver. All right, let's move on. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely keeping the railway rifle. The, 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 the bad thing about it is that the ammo is heavy, right? It weighs about 0.1 pounds per shot. And the rifle itself weighs 14 and a half pounds. That's a lot. But if we stick with our suppressed pistol, our sword... I can probably get away with just storing the railway rifle back at our home base. Definitely not going to sell it. Gonna make some dirty water when we get back. But now that we have our... We got the trader perk. I'm curious to see what effect that has on the price of a uh, water filter. But right now, we need to go hunting for feral ghouls. We got to restore our... What's it called? Our sanity. Get your breath back. Relax. It's okay. We're back home. You made it. <laughs> Jumpy spider later. Good afternoon. Is higher or lower? Lower is worse. Yeah, the lower the worse. Almost took that door. That's the bad door. We don't want to take it. Uh, I think it's just a part of Frost, or one of the additions to Frost. But it just, it works if you find a construction helmet. You can use it like the Pip-Boy light. It's very nice, it's really bright. Okay, so the railway, oh uh, yeah. This thing is damn near broken, 126 damage. We're going to put it away for now. Save up on the weight. As well as... I'm going to stockpile all ammo. It's not 10 millimeter. And definitely save up on some weight. So we got 26 rounds, a sword. I don't want to sell any of that. Let's put on our sweet little summer outfit. Yeah. Sell off a bunch of stuff, get some uh, water filters. We gotta level up and take the hunter perk though. 
Definitely important we get to that point. I was gonna say, I thought the mining headlight works in vanilla as well. Cause that's how the power armor... Yeah. Huh? Hi, that's how it shows light. Yes? Hi. I'm sure I have something you need. Let's see what you have. Let me know what you'd like. He keeps getting more and more money. 129. Wow. Okay, so good amount. We're saving about 50 for each one. Gotta save that rad X. We do have squirrel bits. Four uncooked food. Very good. I don't have as much to sell as I'd like. So we'll just take one water filter for now. Have I ever had a conversation with something using a headlamp in real life? Um, when I used to bike for Jimmy John's, I had a light that I could put on my forehead. So, A, I want to get hit by a car while biking at night. Or, you know, just make sure nothing bad would happen to me. Uh, you know what I want to explore? I want to try out some new content that we haven't run into. So let's jump back into that little tunnel. Because I want to go to the Malden line. Suspicious mannequin. Yeah, we want to go back down. I want to check that giant bright red door. Felt like he was just asking for me to explore it. We've got Old North Church. I think this door leads to... Yeah, this should be the Malden line. Because it was the sewer door and then the church door right next to it. And we chose the sewer door. Head into the Malden line. I will not mauled while in here. By the way, okay, I know it's in the name, but we're gonna go through here like John Wick. Don't have the key. Malden under levels access key. Wait, this goes right to downtown? Why the hell did I go there? Why did I go this ass backwards route then? Let me go the cool way. Oh, it's this door. I feel like I knew that that was there. So we need to get the... a specific key to go through here. Can't pick this. Malden Underlevels. All right, that's kind of a bummer. I wanted to try out, you know, a place we haven't been yet. Ow, I just scratched my knee where I'm sunburnt. I think that's my least favorite place to be sunburnt. Right above the knee, on your thigh. Shit hurts. When I took a shower this morning, I was like sunburnt everywhere and I kind of forgot about it. You would have thought I was being robbed by my shower head. I'm like, no, please, ah, stop, calm down. Damn it, how do I not have wood? And why am I still wearing my outfit? <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta remember to take this thing off. It's gonna get me killed. Plus, I like way more tactical when I have gloves and I'm holding my gun. All right, we gotta find some cash. That's the one thing we're looking for is money. Because money equals water. I, I, I might be done exploring this little part though. Stun grenade, decent cash, minimal weight. Or 
further down the sewers. I'm gonna check out Old North Church. I know there's a lot of radiation in here, especially right at the start. Gonna just zoom through as fast as I can. Thank I don't you, wanna waste my Rad X. Shane Koo, I appreciate that. Thank you very much for the tier one. Hope you're doing well. We gotta move. Just staircase somewhere in here. We'll hit the roofs again. Nice. I'm going the wrong way. Shit. How did I get lost? Headshot and it did no damage. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, this was supposed to be the John Wick thing. Front door? Nice. All right, we still made it out. <clears throat> I don't know if you can do the railroad railroad puzzle. Possibly. If you're not sure what Frost is, exclamation point rules, it'll take you to the Google Doc and you can look up the, and just go to the mod page. It'll explain more there. It's like a it's it's like a total overhaul. It's a it's a basically a conversion. Red storm? Yeah. Right, I feel like we can get quick XP while we're out in the open world by just discovering places. Although I gotta be careful, this pistol actually sucks ass. I thought it was gonna be able to keep me alive. Couldn't hurt a fly. Lots of ghouls around here. Thirsty? Not for long. Yeah, I can't wear that over my armor. <clears throat> ah, just kill me. Whoa, you see how that thing restored health? Yeah, well, unfortunately, I, <laughs> I donate myself to the pyre. I thought I had the sword favorited it uh, in the one slot. Charlie Boss, you just watched the White Run video? That's a long time ago. That's the video that literally made YouTube my career. And what's funny is I'll rewatch it and I don't really like it that much. <laughs> It's the audio, the audio, and it drives me crazy. You are parched from a lot. You know what? I'm drinking right out of the sludge. I don't give a fuck anymore. Mmm. Hell yeah. Let's give me twice. Properly hydrated. That easy. What am I going to get? Worms? I'm afraid of some worms. All right, we explored like a bunch of this area last time we got out here. A fawn? Oh, a little Bambi. Look at you. Oh, oh, look at her go. Well, I guess it's Bambi's.
Don't complain. You knew it was coming. I should be saving them until I have the hunter perk. Are they shooting at me or other people? Oh, damn, they're shooting at each other. That guy just got scoped. Are you all right, sir? Another notch. What am I talking about? Of course you're not all right. Give me that combat rifle, though. Yeah, way more damage than the one I got. Whoa. 130 XP for one headshot? No! No! God damn it! No! I needed the XP! Ah! No! Oh man! Uh, I think I do have lootable cars on. I didn't check. I forgot to think of it. Why do, every time I kill a cute animal, I always get slapped in the dick with karma? Like literally, like somebody took a cricket bat and just. Oh, god damn it, that was brutal. Oh. Every time. That's all right. I won't let greed stop me. Okay, but since we are doing an outdoors adventure, the rules of how we can save are basically, you know, we gotta find like an indoor safe location if we do wanna save while out here. So for the most part, what we gotta do is get back to where we started inside the train tracks. Here's where that shootout started. God damn it, now there's feral ghouls up there. Don't tell me the encounter changed. I'll be so sad. Isn't there a landmine right here? Quite literally, this is what the f Oh my god, it's a war zone. Whew. Okay, XP opportunity here. Everyone die. You got a turret across the road. This is a much worse alternative than how it played out last time. Large backpack. Hold on, that's great. Takes us up to 90 carry weight. Let's not die while we're out here, though. All right, I am going to take some fungal purge. It's really bad for us, though. We're back to being thirsty and hungry. Ooh, that almost killed me. Oh, that almost, ooh, dangerously low. At least we're getting rid of some of those rads we have. Should have taken rad X before this fight. Damn. Combat rifle's gone. 180 XP, whatever it was, gone. That was close. Oh, 
Automatic laser pistol. 61 damage. That's pretty good. No ammo for it. Keep your eyes open. Am I allowed to sleep? I'm allowed to sleep. I'm allowed to save. Don't blame me. Blame the rules that I made myself. Come on out. I'll make it nice and quick. Where is this clown? Looks like the turret that was right there exploded. Guys, we found a backpack, though. This is huge. We're up to 90 pounds. On the bright side, I do get to keep it. I'm getting so sick of that line. Only a fucking coward hides. Where was this person? Like I was chilling right here. Why won't you die? That's right, get out of my face. It's probably why he killed me in one hit. Armored coat, I remember that one. Yeah, that one's pretty good. It weighs 17 pounds though, what does mine weigh? Four. Mine weighs four pounds. You know, you could consider the benefit that we get from the backpack being almost 20 pounds offsetting the weight of the armored coat but i kind of want to be able to loot up stuff and sell it so like that rifle we can just take that and sell it it's gonna be worth quite a bit thank you kind sir cuny po or honey po difficult to pronounce with two consecutive ends but either way thank you very much marksman's automatic pipe only four and a half pounds we'll take it chinese sword will take it low weight low risk yeah a bunch of ghouls came up here to try and mess with this turret and got messed up scavenger's gas mask is that any good Nah, nothing that I have to replace the mining helmet to wear. I'm always going to keep the mining helmet on. Still can't believe I'm, I'm less XP now than when I just one-tapped that guy, just a little... Stepped on a fucking landmine. <laughs> landmine. How dare that landmine ruin all of my fun? I was finally going to make some good progress. Heavily damaged. What's this one worth? Sorry, Chad. I'm pretty locked in right now. Only three and a half pounds. We'll take it. Low weight, low risk. Custom house tower. I remember we went in there before. I can't remember how disastrous it was. Oh, 
I think that might be might have been the one whose head we popped. That was, that was the one. Anything good? Not too much, actually. We gotta get back inside quickly. All right, got a new level up. I think I'm gonna go with luck training. Yeah, we're gonna take luck training. Because we get two more level ups and then we'll have Idiot Savant. We're able to pop Idiot Savant a few times on an enemy, especially like the one we just took out. Who gave us, you know, 130 XP for one kill. Idiot Savant activates on one of those guys. We'll make a huge leap in progress. I gotta get back inside though, I'm pretty close to dying. You gotta be kidding me. What are you doing over here? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I want to go home. Not deal with you idiots anymore. Still have 28 pounds of weight we can take. Take that. Take the chest armor. And we made it back. All right. We still gained a decent amount of radiation, unfortunately. Even though we took the fungal purge. I'm just gonna grab this stuff to sell. Might as well. It's there, I'll take it. I gotta scrap. For, ooh, there's a weapons workbench there. I should have scrapped. That's okay. We can scrap while we're in here. Get some wood. Pile it up. Thank you, mods. I was I was about to do this. I was about to do the same. Yeah, that shit's annoying. Don't be cringe. All right, this is crazy. If I scrap this weapon, how do I not get back wood? Very clearly, a significant portion of this gun is made of wood. It's right there. It's right in the handle. It's made of wood. What are we doing here? Come on now. Worth every scepter. I've thought about do uh, a couple of people have suggested a ghoul run. I kind of wish I tried it. But since we haven't done ghoul at all the entire time, I kind of wanted to keep playing by the same rule set that we did before with the changes that we have. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <clears throat> you want to do some trading? Let's see what you've got. Great. Wait. Hold on. We got to put on our clothes. Got to put on my trading outfit. Doesn't look any less stupid. The backpack looks great, though. Yes. Huh? I'm sure I have something to need. I've got a few minutes to browse. It's always so close every time, <laughs> taking up the whole screen. Okay, recoil. Da -da -da. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna keep that one. Federation Elite Fatigues, that's the one I'm wearing around. Not coming out of this with as much cash as I wanted to. I gotta keep one Fungal Purge. I'm gonna have to take it soon. But that's alright, 515. Oh, 
Oh, I probably... Yeah, damn. I should have cooked all my stuff before this because now I'm... When I took the fungal purge, it affected my hunger and thirst. So I just got way worse prices than I would have gotten if I... If I focused on taking care of those first. Okay, all right, all right, you win this round. I have five water filters and no dirty water. What the hell am I doing? Do I have any drink? No, I have nothing. I'm still hungry too. Damn. How are we doing on sanity? E 43 and a half. We got to get our yes. sanity back up. Because before we ate all that food, we were at 39. We got to stop killing people. <laughs> I need to stop murdering people really, really soon. It's getting bad. Did I accidentally sell them? No, I sold uh, a couple of drugs. I drank the waters that I had while I was outside. All right, we'll get eight hours of sleep. Actually, fuck it. We'll make it. Drink some dirty water. Oh. The worst. Okay, we gotta go to the doctor. It shouldn't be too hard to get insurance. Last time we played this, it wasn't very hard. Yes. Insurance. But we need to get rid of parasites ASAP. Let's drink some dirty water. Or we already did drink some dirty water. Hi, how are you? That's the risk you take though when you drink out of- It's a water fountain, man. How am I getting hey, diseased? Hey. Traitor. What do you mean by freedom? We ain't asking you for an entrance fee, huh? Uh-huh. Or to pay... How about I put this gun to your head until we can make sure you aren't a commie spy? All I asked was, like, what you guys do around here, and he goes, How about I put a gun to your head and murder you right now where you stand? Strip all your clothes. Maybe put you into a cute spring outfit or something, sleeveless with booty shorts. Hmm? Hmm? What if I... Had you pose for an hour and a half consecutively while a professional painter drew a sketch of you so that I could hang it up under my wall, frame it, maybe look at it with admiration once in a while. Hmm? What if I did that? Hmm? What if I was incredibly kind to you? <laughs> Tucked you in at night. I'm lucky for you. I can't help you with that. Our stores might. Is this base game? No, this is a it's like a total overhaul. Feeling sick. This place is special. The oh, rebirth hey. of civilization. And we are the last real humans left. No. If you don't have it. Mm -hmm. Do I have to talk to the doctor first? And then the doctor tells me? Hey. Need something? Have you heard anything about Ben Jordan's? Oh man, I have one of those, but it's in my other pants. Okay. Well, Woo! Yeah, this time. Shout out to the spring yes, outfit. Please, don't say that around here. Patch me up, Doc. <laughs> and since we have a... Okay, what's going on here? Where are we going? The camera's lost control. Uh, I've been laying off chems and booze lately. I'm pretty beat up. Should I just say I'm pretty beat up and she'll take care of the disease? Which one should I go with? Yeah, that one. 
just hurt all over. I'd like to help you, but I got... Frost Iron Man challenge? No, you can't do... Unless there's a mod where you can handcraft actual weapons from scratch and armor rather than just upgrading existing armor. Fallout 76, you could technically do an Iron Man challenge because you can craft weapons from scratch. There's actually kind of a compelling element to it because you would have to find... Um, you would have to find the plans, and a lot of the plans in order to craft certain weapons have certain criteria to fill out. So there is sort of a fun uh, way of going through and getting those plans to make weapons and armor. See, like a lot of these dialogue options, I'm not sure how much oh, oh, God. sense they how make. Kill a God. What a intoxicating I'm a God. How can you kill a God? Shame on you, sweet Zerabar. Shane. Shane, 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 Shane. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. It's very kind of you. I just click random. I, you know, I, I, ne I need to change my stream deck tunes because they go through my entire library of music and there's just too many of them. Usually I just hit a random button and pray that the song fits the mood and they never do. <laughs> I need to figure it out. But I have like 1600 songs. You missed a couple streams. How's the challenge going? So a brief update to anybody who doesn't really know what's been going on in this challenge. Uh, the first time we tried this, this is Frost Survival. It's an overhaul. It's really, really difficult. I mean, it's like, it's it's pain simulation. Never mind. On your way then. It's actually horrendous. Okay, I only have a hundred bucks. That's why it didn't work. Um, sure. So let me know if you have any Jordans. Insurance. If you need Jordans. Uh huh. Yeah, we got to talk to the doctor. Yes. Uh, we did it our first time. We soft locked because we sucked. Only opens with a key. The second time we did it, we went with the cannon intro, which plays out like a Metroidvania in a Metro in a weird way. But the mod was just way too unforgiving and difficult for me. Vanilla. So I took a few days off after getting really upset on stream a few times. We added in a few things to make it a little bit easier. And we started over, but we're making good progress right now. Hi, traitor. No. If you don't have anything to. I I okay. What am I traitor? missing here? Did I choose the wrong dialogue? What do you mean by freedom? We ain't order. How about or we are no right. I'm out of dialogue options. Okay, hold on. I gotta load my save and try this again. I told him I killed his friend. Yeah, you're right. Who did we so kill? Good. So good. <clears throat> Traitor. What is this place? I'm lucky for you. I can't help you with that. Our store's mine. Yeah, see, like that response makes absolutely no sense. No. If you don't have anything to trade, then get out Was it the group of Federation soldiers that we killed right before we got up here? Last time I gave him the papers of his dead friend. So, was it... Okay, well, give me the railway rifle. The railway spikes. Let's go make short work of them. Yes. Is that what we have to do? Because the dialogue really does not make any sense. It makes none. Zero. Is it is it a translation? <clears throat> like, was this mod originally made in a different language? I wouldn't think it is because the notes that are written are pretty. I mean, if if the notes that are written for this mod were translated to English then they're very good translations. <sighs> dun 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 
Oh, come on. <laughs> Damn it. Let me have this one. That's crazy. Okay, the flamer is probably Yeah, I should I should go for the guard with the flamethrower first. Cause that thing has a wide spread. They don't even have to aim it. What just happened? You killed him. Oh my god, another one! How many flamethrowers do you have? Stop it! Now it's not just my spring outfit that's really hot. What has been added this time? Uh, primarily, the main thing to make it easier is allowing me to save the game normally. What, the? Uh, what just happened? God damn it. I mean, it is the instant they spot me. No, Whirler, you're dead on. Groovy has been... Okay, nice shot. Groovy has been very helpful. That is insane. That's crazy. I don't want to take any more drugs. Oh, duh. Why didn't I go down here? This is going to make it way easier. What the? What the? What the, what the heck? What the? Not hiding this time. <laughs> Love that sound. <clears throat> they got a lot of stuff I can sell back at town. Thank you, kind sir. Ooh, sacrificial blade? It's worth more than the flamer. Dan Mac, I appreciate that. Thank you very kindly for subscribing via Twitch Prime. Let's press submachine gun, 183. I have a lot of ammo for the submachine gun. All right, let's get some of our Hydration back. Shit, I forgot the main issue we had is that we caught a disease. We got to get rid of our parasites. This should go back to town, right? No, that's the tunnel. I hate that there's not an entrance directly to downtown from here. It's driving me crazy. Get it, you're out of breath. Get over yourself. Mystery fish. Oh, nice, we got our hydration back. We're not doing too bad then. Mm -hmm. Hold on a second. I think there's a faster entrance to downtown. I wanna say the access tunnels has a door that goes right downtown. Maybe I'm wrong.
Nope, I was not wrong. How good is this mod? Um, vanilla, it's very, very difficult, and it can get unenjoyably hard. But, you know, the beauty of this game is you can edit things a lot in ways that you want to. <laughs> Traitor. Only opens with a key. I'm more worried about personal protection. Hey. I don't remember. I don't remember what we did to actually get insured. Oh man, I have. Okay, I'll will help this time. Just please, don't. Uh huh. Actually, I need. It's on my list. All right, let's just see what she has. No, she doesn't have antibiotics. Ugh. No antibiotics. Groovy, any idea where we found the whatever we got to show to that guard? You seem to be the Wikipedia for this challenge. Maybe we should talk to Nick Valentine? Yes. Hey there. Looking to buy? Sure. Let's take a look. Let me know what you'd like. Okay, we got a lot from killing those guys, though. Sacrificial blade. Another submachine. Ooh, okay, we're making out big time here. Oh, yeah. Sell off some of our jet. Not too much of our jet. We want to keep some. Bungle purge. Got to hold on to it. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. We can sell the generator schematics. Whew! Absolutely. I don't plan on building a generator. I don't plan on getting involved with settlement building. Flamer fuel over a thousand. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, oh. Oh, we're rich. We're literally rich. Let me get, uh, let me get 10 water filters, please. No. Well, maybe I should. Maybe I should. Holy shit. That's a big win. Yeah, 10 water filters. I'll take the 800 caps. Let's confirm the trade. We're a thousand air. No, don't feel bad, Warler. We're having I'm having way more fun this time. It's way more enjoyable being able to actually, you know, save my progress and not constantly get kicked down the road like I'm a can of soda that's been emptied out, smashed, and just left for dead. That's right, that's what this mod made me feel like a can of soda. Do I have any guns in here? No, I really don't. That is a small problem. Small issue with the lack of guns. You need notes from the damp ass guy? Damp ass. Huh? Damp ass. Like swamp ass? Swamp. Ass. The guy that says you got a damp ass? I just killed him? Wait, what are you, what are you saying?
Every time I come through that door, I'm always looking at the ground. Why? I'm not even angry at this mod anymore, but every time I go through that door, I'm always, hmm? <laughs> Look up. Look forward. Be attentive. Okay, damp? I don't remember him talking about a damp ass. Why am I struggling to remember? I mean, I feel like I remember it, but I also don't remember it. Hey, hey, damp ass, take off that gas. Are you sure he didn't say dumbass? Oh, the case notes. I'm an i I'm literally an idiot. <sighs> yeah, yeah, no, he says dump. Maybe he says dumpy ass. Hey, you, dumpy ass. Hey, you, juicy cheeks. Huh? Me? I just clawed my way out of a cage. I'm really sorry. I gotta stop trying to sprint. It's such a bad habit. I have no energy in game and I keep trying to sprint for like two steps until I get gassed. Hey you, Tim the Elite. How are you? Mm, I'm more worried about personal protection. You know, someone coming at you when you're not expecting. It your way. Nah, she wasn't expecting it. That's okay. We're doing this to train her. We're just... We're just trying to train her. Give me one sec, chat. I'll be back in two seconds. I'll leave you with this brave Federation soldier guarding the line. What's she saying? Is she upset that I showed back up? Fuck you, lady. This is my show. It's my damn show, all right? She gotta relax. Jaichi, that is the Halo uh, Warthog run. Not sure if that's the actual name of the tune or if fans just called it that and they were like, you know what? Yeah, we're just calling it that from now on. Ooh, okay, I want to read the note that this guy has because apparently it's of importance to the captain up here And I, I really want to follow this dialogue here closely and see if it makes any sense at all. So officer Gretnik case notes Can we make the whole stream about the NPC? No, unfortunately appreciate it ink demon Case Dijon Gretnik eligibility for the mission soldier Gret tink Gretink? Dr. Riverson, this result will go included as one copy to the Inquirer and one to Marchand. Question, how do you deal with broken limbs, carrying dangerous materials, getting shot at, illnesses, and other disasters? Answer, I have one very simple way of dealing with these situations, and it is actually one word to deal with these situation. Good. Okay, I, the bombs fell five years ago. We didn't know, they didn't, like... They didn't all just bypass elementary. Question, what are you gonna say if I tell you that you have to pick up mini nukes and missiles from point A, hide them in point B, where you can be seen and shoot anytime 
by any alliance. Then light the damn place up on fire and establish. Okay, this is the only one that does seem like they tried to translate it from a different language. Uh, then light the damn place up on fire and establish an outpost nearby. All this to control the fire until new orders burn excess bodies and shoot down any alliance spy who tries to cross in. Answer. I am going to say good. Result eligible ATD. As Dr. Riverson, on behalf of Marshan, orders in the review of the facts, Soldier Gratink will be hereby promoted as Officer of the Red Line, Downtown Postal Outpost. Congratulations. I don't, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to follow along. I mean, if, if it was, if it was a translation, I'm not going to hate on somebody translating something into their second language. Might poke a little bit fun at how it reads in my voice, but, um, I just don't know totally what's going on. Like when we read that speech out there, that was written like, Something straight out of, you know, John Henry Eden in Fallout 3. That was great. Hey. Traitor. This is your friend? He's dead. This is your friend? He's dead. Yeah. What? Is that so? Speak, foreigner. What happened to him? So I just admit that I killed him. That's what I did last time. Yes, it's true. I killed him. What? How dare you show up here? Do you want to die? Oh, I remember this. Yeah, I want to die. Kill me. I want to die. So be it. <laughs> okay, this is the only time that Charisma has actually been a debuff, because last time <laughs> we failed. Wait, maybe I should just put on my outfit. Last time we failed that speech check and he was like, nah, we're going to put you to work. <clears throat> and then we got Freedom. insurance. That's right. Okay, so that's all you have to do to get insurance. If you're out there and you're uninsured, all you got to do, if you want to get some insurance, is kill a guard captain for the local enclave, steal a note of his orders, present them to his boss, admit that you did it, and then ask to die. This is your friend. He's dead. Yeah. What? That's uh. So, play idle more. space what idle. Happened? Look up inspecting. That's the command to do that little animation. Put down your weapons first. All right now. Talk. Charisma W. Average speech build W. Yes. It's true. I killed him. What? How dare you show up here? Do you want to die? He attacked me. Yes, true. I was completely defenseless. Officer, I had no choice. I had to kill him. He attacked me. I had to kill him. Seems like you managed to overwhelm Officer Gredink. That's never happened before. Are you aiming to take his place in the future? What would you say? Where did that dialogue came? Where did where did that come from? That was like way better than everything he said before. All right, I'm going. I'm leaving. See ya. Yeah, I guess I want his job. I killed him to take his job. Where do I start? Head to the surgery sign to see the doc. It's along from the hardware store. Look for the signage. All right, I'm going. Take this key to enter the doc's room. Now get moving. Okay, all right. Now we gotta go get interviewed. Then we go get insurance. Please, so... Sit. Oh, that's a tiny... Can I fill my water in here? Wait. I can fill my water out of the fish tank. <laughs> yeah, let me just drink right out of this. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Sorry. Uh, what were you saying, Doc? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Please. Sit. 
Ow, sir, you're blinding me. Can we not please put the light away? Excuse me. Don't worry. So I've been informed that you are here to take a test. How are you feeling? Are you ready? I'm sick as shit, Doc. I got worms in my guts. I'm ready. Then let's get started. Your dog is sick. What are you going to do with it? Okay, I remember this. Don't give up. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna be good here. Don't give up hope. If there's a cure, we'll find it. Damn right. Chances are, if the dog could, he would do the same for you. Yeah, I doubt it. Oh no, you are witnessing. Oh shit, I forgot. Teach the guy a lesson. Make sure he never does it again. I teach the guy a lesson. Make sure he never does it again. Now that sounds like something the Federation would do. Yep. Ooh, I'm gonna ace this. I'm gonna have the best insurance plan possible. Gold standard. Next question. What if I tell you, I keep skipping the dialogue on accident. I have no clue what he asked. It needs improvements. It's a bit bland for hardly any result. It needs improvement. It's a bit bland for hardly any results. That's interesting. There might be a way you can tell us how to not run headlong into a brick wall. Oh, like playing this mod? Next question. You are ready to pull the trigger on your gun while aiming at your target. You notice that he is not even twitching. What will you do? Shoot first, ask questions later, baby. You shoot first. This is the apocalypse. Ask later. Knowing you're gonna die, probably painfully, what would you like to do? Take the good with the bad, I guess. Embracing your mortality takes courage and determination. Turns out this test was surprisingly inconclusive. I predicted that there's only 2% real chance and 8% pre So you're either a genius? Okay, I remember this goes really quickly. Turns out it's not really in Okay. So give me the details. Well, working with me, you'll learn what you can do to contribute and quality and improve and blah 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 community. Else the commander handles external affairs. Okay, so am I employed now? Your thoughts? According to the test, you want to be on the edge where your skills are being developed, an excellent trait for success. I look forward to learning more about it. Do you like being a scabber? If you are not too scared to prove yourself, nor too confident to kill yourself, you'll make a fortune in trading. Yes, that's actually my job right now. Mm -hmm. Any more questions? I might do it if you make it worth my while. Do what? Do what exactly? What are we doing? I see you've calculated all the variables, just like a machine. No doubt about that. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Right. Consider yourself ready for a call to adventure. Take this card, at least once to the medic, then you can scrap it for parts. If you lose it, be here in my office. I've got insurance. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what's going on. What's a recap of the last hour and a half? Um, huh? We're trying to get back within the main story here. We did make a shit ton of caps. Hey. Cash. Shit. So let me know if you have anything. George. Why does she always start with that? Yeah, I have one. Well, now, some good news. Yeah, take a look at me, Doc. <laughs> Tell me your symptoms. <laughs> that camera cut was amazing. <laughs> Serious Dr. Angle. Numbers, I appreciate it. Thank you for the 100 bits. I'm pretty beat up. Scrapes and bruises, but it's probably a good idea to get... <laughs> All done. Any other Maybe she's got a little maniacal side, but... Maybe she's a great doctor. That was it. On your way then. So did that get? <gasps> did it? Please tell me it got rid of it. Oh, I have no more ass worms. My ass worms are cleared. Yeah, hell yeah. Yes to Federation. Fuck you to ass worms. I'm free, baby. 
Okay, I'm a little bit hungry. Thank you, kind sir. 262, I appreciate it. Thank you very much for the prime. Oh, I was like, why the hell did my phone go off? Those ammo boxes were empty before. Now they're kind of filling up with random stuff. I think a good direction for us to go. Just be careful, all right? I don't want any more deaths on my conscience. We could take out some feral ghouls. Don't have any ammo. I mean, we have very little ammo. No more railway rifle ammo. Did I really use all of it on that group of people? I guess it was worth it. Now I'm employed. So I got my insurance card. I wonder if I can talk to him and actually get a quest. I heard you completed the test. Yeah, goddamn right. Passed it with flying colors. Here by a conscript of the Great Metro Federation. Congratulations. Now you're fucked. I still have this pact that needs signing. Finally, somebody around here is honest. All right, I'll sign up. Let's do it. Sure, I'll sign up. Good. Here's your copy. Soldier's yard is past the Great Wall on the left, where you can rest and guard the entrance. Come back to me when you're ready to go on a mission. There's always work to be done. You can now offer services for the Great Metro Federation. You have unlocked new dialogue types. Federation. You have unlocked North End Valenti Station's beds. It took 17 in-game hours, not counting loading screens, so probably closer to 20, to actually start the main fucking story. <laughs> okay, all right, we did it. We started the main quest. Excuse me. Good to see you, conscript. Now speak. Okay. Give me a job. Let's do it. Do you have any paying work? There is always work to be done. We are not in war just with the scumbags from the Alliance. We also have the orders to annihilate every single zombie mass hole we see. Here, take this. You know what needs to be done. This mist. Mutant extermination. Clear Faneuil Hall. Oh my god. Oh my god, I have a quest. Oh, I have a quest! Clear Faneuil Hall at Haymarket Mall and kill feral ghouls. Alright. We've been to Faneuil Hall before. There's quite a few feral ghouls. By going there, we'll both complete this quest. And... We'll get some of our sanity back. Because our sanity's getting a bit low. We're at... 38.5 sanity. We need to get a lot back. We gotta kill 30, 40, 50 feral ghouls. I have some rad X, a little bit peckish. Hopefully we can find some food around there. This is big. We're getting paid. We're getting we're getting paid to get our sanity back. I am a member of the Federation. Mom, I did it. Huh? Mom, I got a job. My mom's gonna be so proud of me. Finally, next family Thanksgiving, I can have something to brag about. My brother served in the actual military, but I served in the Federation. That's right. You assume you're getting paid? I better be getting paid! No Radstorm. Faneuil Hall's fairly close by. Hopefully we can find a gun on the way there. Alright. Oh, sweet. It's right here. We'll go the quiet route. Ah, oh, damn. Actually, as soon as I go in there, I'm going to start piling on radiation. Let's go. 
We'll just throw on the Radix as soon as we get in here. Maybe not. Security terminal? Can I activate this? I'd, I'd rather activate this and have the robot do the work for me. Lays, L-A-Y-S, one, L-A-Y-S. Doesn't end in S, L-A-Y-S. Second letter, A? L-A-Y-S, one. So it's second letter, A. All right, enough with the dud removed. There we go. No, it can't be land wall. M-A-T-E. Damn, again. Head, no. Oh, raid. There we go. It's just going to attack me right away, isn't it? Okay, now that we're down here, we'll take the Rad X, drink some water. Ow. Okay, it just activated a lot of Protectrons. I wasn't expecting four of them. Make that jump. Nice jump. Look at that. Okay, lots of them in here. Decent amount of cash on them. Nice. Stay hot. Looks like I need to keep going upstairs. There's probably one special zombie upstairs. Trap. Whew, that was close. Almost let that one catch me. Glowing one? Figures. Ow. Nice. Mission complete. Overdrive. Let's go to the roof. Get out of here as quick as we can. Oh, did I miss it? What would your opinions be on a horse locked Skyrim challenge instead of region locked? You could use convenient horses to pick up items while riding. Am I right, Light? Thank you for the 50 bits. I, I've talked about that before doing Skyrim without leaving the horse. I think that could be fun, but in order to do it, since you can't really loot or activate a lot of things in game, I would basically just have to have unlimited arrows. Like an iron dagger, have some kind of mod installed where if I get a kill, I get arrows back. At certain levels, I'm able to upgrade my arrows, stuff like that. Uh, we're gonna, on this run, before we go back home, wait, is the quest still going? No. Oh, we actually did complete the quest. That was less stressful than I thought it would be. Okay. All right, I can do this. Ooh, there's someone down here. Oh, God, that was close. Shh. Don't move. This is gonna be fun. <gasps> How do 
do I not get a stumble there? How? Excuse me. Ridiculous. Asinine. Annoying. Crazy. Insane. At least I didn't lose all my progress, though. What in the hell is that? It was a... I give up. <laughs> I give up. That was so bad. I should try to get some cow traps. Ravioli, this is your first time here. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for stopping by. Gold watch. Gold watch sells for a lot. Do I have any blood bags? No. Did you hear that? Shh. I am vengeance. I am Batman. Catch. Hiding from me. What a toss. What an unbelievable toss. Ooh, that turret's got a... Does it have a line of sight on me? Oh, yeah, it does. I'm out of throwables. Won't be able to pick this. Shit. All right, quick exit. Where'd that little fucker go? Oh, I can't take that exit. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I think she ran out of ammo. I'm going inside. We gotta take the bank. God damn, what the fuck? Why? Ma'am, we are indoors. Is a rocket launcher necessary? This is the most unnecessary weapon you could have chose. Chosen. Choosed. Chazzed. I gotta get the intimidation perk. I really want to use it. No. I am not here. You see nothing. Turn around. Okay, she put the gun away. Oh, thank God that worked. Okay, Elizabeth Irving. I'm taking that from you. How much does a missile launcher cost? 304. It does 2,000 damage. It weighs 21 pounds. Attic doll. Very good. I'm just going to take the rockets, though, and sell them. They're going to be worth a ton. We've been in the bank before, though. We know we can get out of here easily. Take some wood just so we can fry up some water. A little bit more wood. Ooh, safe. Come on, give me cash. Yes. Yeah, the damaged one dollar bundles are much better than I gave them credit for. I think this is a level four. No, level three. district are we gonna be able to i feel like we're gonna get jumped by enemies as soon as we go out here turkey stick is inside the safe Kamarko, how are you thank you for sending your stream over i appreciate it thank you very much to Kamarko for sending her stream over she also likes to play a lot of the same games that we do Thank you. Thank you.
We appreciate it. We love having you here. There's no dancing emoji or emote in game. But either way, thank you very much. I hope you have had a wonderful day and a great week. I don't know how else to dance other than to just run around in game. There was a hole in the ground. Have you played Frost? I haven't played Frost uh, now or until now. Yeah, yeah, right. She copies me. <laughs> I invented playing Fallout and Skyrim. Totally an original idea. Am I allowed to fast travel? I'm fast traveling. I'm sorry. I'm fast traveling. We're mo we're moving. Yeah, I I'm actually the first uh, Twitch streamer ever. I'm brand now. I'm brand new to it. I just want to complete my first quest. How's Frost been treating me today? Very good. Much better than the last uh, 14 hours. So I assume you've given it a try before. Um, when I first tried it, there was no... It was very unforgiving. You know, uh, save by sleeping really rigorous uh food and water requirements boiling water all that stuff it was just so hard to progress and i was getting genuinely infuriated in terms of how frustrated i was getting yes huh? and i felt bad that i was getting so angry <laughs> i was just not enjoying it at all but i took a few mods allowed myself to save whatnot so we could get moving but we just completed our first quest after 17 hours so this is our third character we've started. Excuse me. Good to see you, conscript. Now speak. Bet your ass I just completed that quest. Let's go. Reporting for extra work. Any report on your retaliation? Retaliation. Cleared out those feral ghouls. Damn know it. Did a damn good job of it. I cleared out those feral ghouls. Well done. Worth every But now, second. let's discuss your... Let's discuss your payment. Oh, I could use a stiff drink, meds. Gonna pass. Why the hell would I pass? I'm looking for weapons. I'm looking for weapons. That's why we have a weapon store. So you can buy weapons or ammo with your hard work. Good luck with your trade. That's right. Here. Okay, 200 bucks. I'll take that. I, I think that's a fair reward for doing the quest. That's good. I'm not angry. I was gonna be angry if it was really bad. Hey there. But good to see you, conscript. Down for that. I'll Keon, see. thank you very much for gifting a tier one to Commercial. Very deserving of that gifted sub. What are your orders, Captain? Oh Your god, no, no, we're not saluting. Come on. I'm all, I went from hardened veteran to like <laughs> I went from hard-nosed, survives on his own badass to bootlicker that quickly? What is that? Report back to me when you are done. I didn't even listen to the quest. I'm just so angry about that. I've been on my own for 17 hours. Not so that I could kiss your ass and salute you for giving me a basic-ass quest. The air up there is poison. Any questions? I'm ready, Captain. I managed to fight my way through the library. Am I just gonna lie? Oh wait, the library. I managed to fight my way through the library. Did you? What did you see? I couldn't do it. Doors chained up on the other side. No, I'm, I'm gonna keep lying. What do you think? I think that you have to answer the fucking question. Relax. Uh um, shit. Yeah, the door's locked in there. Mm. Nothing. Yeah, it was kind of basic. It's just a library, you know, books, pages, maybe some text. 
the occasional writing. Hey, As on me. I'm, I, it, nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Oh, nothing. Nothing. What? Come back to me when you have some usable intel. Damn, okay, so we gotta get into the library next. That's our next quest. All right, we're actually on an adventure. This is fun. I like direction. So the library, that was in my head where I wanted to go next. I was thinking library. Get off the weapons workbench. Who, what do you get? Get off. This is mine. Okay, can't really do anything with the sword. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hey, you're the only one down here with a Boston accent. <laughs> Five years after the bombs go off, you'd think it'd be more common around here. I need all my empty bottles. Three. That's not bad, I guess. I am pretty light on food right now. Does Haley's Hardware have any? No, it's just a hardware store. Oh, you know what? Maybe Kiampa has food. Yeah, Kiampa might have food. I wonder how expensive it is. What mic do I use? I use an Elgato Wave 1. I use the uh, lesser version of the two Elgato mics, unless they have new ones. I got it back in 2020, so they probably have more. You want to do some trading? Goddamn right, I love trading with you. Wait, hold on. I always forget this. Can I hotkey this? Oh, hell yeah. I can hotkey it. Awesome. Brand new ability unlocked. All out with the greatest of a plum. Where's that radio? Sorry. Yeah. Lower prices, better prices. Low, better. Hey. I'm sure I have something you need. I'll take a look. Sure. Great. I'm sure I have something you need, baby. I got all you need in my store right here. Yeah, you keep coming around in that outfit, I'll have even more inventory. Old ditch, all that. Live in love, sure, take my book. Got plenty of water filters. Oh, that's right, we found five missiles. 800. Mm. Mm. Plasma cartridge. Oh, he's out of money. Oh, you're dry. You ran out. Must suck. Then I'll take. Oh my gosh, he still doesn't have enough. All right, we'll take three water filters. We're all the way up to 1700 now. The buyer is officially dry. Hey. What can I get you? I'll take a look. Sure. Great. All right, Kiampa. Oh, yeah, she's got food. It's not expensive at all. Mac and cheese for 18. Salisbury steak, 37. Unopened boxed meal. Unopened lunchbox. Okay, those are a little pricey. Potato crisps. Give me all of that. Snack cakes. They only weigh 0.1 as well. I'm taking it. And I am going to drink... The really shitty thing that I got, so yeah, we'll pay four hundred. Okay. Huh? In one stream, we're farther than the last two characters. Honestly, by quite a long shot. So we got to fill up our water bottles, get some dirty water. Dirty water, cook it up, eat it up, yummy, yummy. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Anybody remember that Wiggles slapper? Come on. Properly hydrated. Fungal purge. Now we're famished. Potato crisps, snack cakes. 
Unopened boxed meal. Do I just click it and eat it? Oh, it opens up into random food. So we'll eat that. Get some sanity back. Still a little bit hungry. I think we have wood stored. Okay, three more things of that. Dirty water with our filters. Okay, four purified water. Properly fed. Parched. Now we're good. Yeah. I think that was a mistake right there. I'm I'm kind of okay with where we ended up because we've been we've been just kind of kicking ass every other way. But I should have gone to the doctor and just gotten rid of my radiation. Patch me up, doc. <laughs> Tell me your symptoms. Again, really strange reaction. I'm feeling sick. I think it's radiation. Why are you? Well, don't walk away from me. Hi. I need treatment. You'll always be welcome here. Patch me up, Doc. <laughs> I can't handle her Tell laughter. And the camera angle needs to stop changing each time. Too much radiation. I feel sick. <laughs> oh, wait, Doc. I didn't know it was 400. Chill. Chill, chill, chill. Take it easy. Oh, no. 400. God damn it. I'm going to go broke. Fine. Yeah, we're done here, Doc. We're good. I wasn't ready for 400. That brings me down to $849. Worth every second. Mm, I'm more worried about personal protection. You know, someone coming out. No, the thing is, I have insurance. I just still get railed when I have to pay the premium. Numbers, I appreciate it. Thank you for the 100 bits. No music, no music, no happiness. Dad is broke now. <laughs> Dad just lost all of his money in a really shitty deal. Take a quick four hour nap. All right, we got most of our health back. Throw on a bandage. Look at that, we got purified water, some cooked food already. Is that cooked rabbit leg or? No, I probably need three rabbit legs. Why insurance? It's just a part of this mod where you have to get insurance by doing a specific thing, or as she likes to call it, insurance. All right, so in order to get into the library, we need either advanced lockpick, which in order to do that, we probably need perception four. So we would need to put two points into perception. My main goal right now, though, is to level up again, take a luck point, level up again, take Idiot Savant. Because, yeah, we need luck five. Yeah. So there's a few different directions we can go. We haven't gone this way. Probably some decent XP that way, but I need a gun. Probably shouldn't have sold all those guns. You know what? Maybe... Yeah, maybe we head back to good neighbor, Skelet. Yeah. Because there's a lot of easy fights we can win. A lot of dead NPCs littered around the ground with different guns. Let's do that. I know, Idiot Savant is boring. It really is. But if we get there... Wrong door. It's going to help us take a lot more perks. Rocket launcher in the bank. I sold all the missiles. Yes. Yeah, we want to go back to the access tunnels here. I 
wonder where this door goes. This one up here. Subway line? Don't think I've gone this way. Maybe we'll check it out. Check my sanity real quick. Uh, we're at 43 and a half. I feel like it should be higher. Mm, no, we've been here. Okay, I remember this. Uh, that's after leaving downtown. You end up in that little tunnel. If your agility is high enough, I don't think my agility is very high. It's at a four. I don't plan investing in agility too much. Do I have any jet? I got three jet. If we find a gun while we're in Good Neighbor, we could clear out the capital of Good Neighbor. There's a lot of cooked noodles in there. A lot of people we can kill. Plenty of loot. Last time we were there, we found quite a bit. Plus, if we're in Scalay Square, we can fast travel right to Valenti. Damaged bundle. Always take the damaged bundles if you're playing this mod. Very good. Still has the hunting rifle. But all of the ammo is back at home. Wonderful. Excellent move. How are they ever going to parry this? Heated baseball bat. We'll take it for the cash. Just keep an eye on our weight as we move through this place. How do I get over there? I gotta jump through. Staircase on the other side? No? Oh, I'm dumb. It's back here. Whoops. Coffee pot, cigarette carton. I think those are worth like 50. Only weigh half a pound. Ooh. No, all the ammo's back at home. Yeah, we're just gonna have to be a one-hit demon. Let me get my AP back. Could I work a lock real quick? You wanna try something? Maybe when we're in there. Depends if I can find one. Also, radiation storm on the way. We gotta move quick. Kenny, dust is for New Vegas. Oh, I'm dead. That's ridiculous. That's so crazy. Get the fuck out of here. Do I go for the flamethrower on my left that's going to one hit kill me? Open, open the, oh my God, oh my God, what did I do? Put the hunting rifle in there. Menu, jet. I know, I know you're thirsty. We're gonna throw in the flamethrower. Switch back over here. Sure, drink some boiled water. Drink some of that. 
Drink some of that, get our thirst back. Properly hydrated. Look at that, properly hydrated and on drugs. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's the best weapon in the entire game. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. Die. Yes, I'm not insane. You're the ones who are insane for even taking me on in the first place. Die. Run back, hide. Hide behind the merchandise. What a play. What an absolutely phenomenal play. My mind was moving at a million miles an hour right there. <laughs> yes. Although, damn, the ammunition for this thing is worth a ton. But now I guess I see why. One of them has a gun up there. I might have to carry this thing around. I mean, it's so unbelievably good. Ain't personal, just you or me. Are you invisible again? Okay. I was thinking it was the invisible thing again. I mean, this is ridiculous. And it's TOS friendly. You know, gore is one thing, but burning your foes alive? Oh, the YouTube algorithm doesn't really care about that. You're still alive? Christ. Why would I not be alive? I'm the most overpowered one here, <laughs> and I did it all in my cute little spring outfit. Where are you? Come on, let me curb stomp you with my flats. Bring it on. <laughs> I got all day. No, you don't. <laughs> I'm keeping this thing, man. Oh! No way is this worth it. Now, hey, we can talk about this. I look, maybe you should surrender. Honestly, it's probably in your best interest to just give up right now. I don't like this. He's taking the tactical advantage by waiting it out. Where'd that little fucker go? I don't know. Where did I go, huh? It's a mystery. Where did that little fucker go? Oh, you poor sweet summer child. Or should I say spring child? Ian Brady. Yeah, I gotta keep this thing. I have to. If we're gonna do any feral ghoul excursions, we gotta hold on to one of these bad boys. It's so good. I mean, anything. This is the best weapon by far. Okay, two more levels and we're done with boring level ups. <clears throat> then the rest of them should be pretty fun. Luck training. Next level up, we'll take Idiot Savant. How's our sanity doing though? Yeah, yeah, we took a hit. We lost about 20 sanity just in this one fight. We're at to we're at 23. Buff out is what puts me over the edge. That's right. I accidentally took everything they had. Yeah, don't need that. Don't need that. Yeah, we want to keep the rough gas mask. Nuka. Fancy lads. Cigarettes. Cigarettes. 
Four noodle cups. Salisbury steak. Medex jet. Yeah, this place is awesome. Can't carry that. Scrap kit? What does that do? A kit that can be used to s one time to scrap junk items. I think that it's kind of... Eh. It's not great. I mean, if I found a bunch of scrappable items in one run, or I had one run designed just to go out and look for junk items to come home and scrap, sure. But I don't know. I, I don't think it's that worth it. Another large backpack. It's worth 600. Yeah, we're going to take that for sure. Seven pounds, but it's worth it to take. Drop off the baseball bat instead, so we're still under the weight limit. More jet. Love this place. This is my favorite. I feel so empowered. I feel so strong. Look at us go, chat. Hmm? Can you recommend games like games to for me to try out? I would love to play more games. Um, or like make content on more games. But uh, the current projects we do, just they just take a while. I think that's it. I have no plans on leaving with Spine. Equip the backpack? We have one. Red storm. Uh, am I able to fast travel in a storm? Yes. <laughs> I'm taking all the shortcuts now. Groovy, I mean, you could call it a hole. Um, but I love these games. So. Ooh, don't give me the endless loading screen of death now. Come on. Oh, it is so tempting. So tempting. Plus, he's laying on top of a sleeping bag that would make good tinder to just... Light him up. Is Cyberpunk on my to-do li to, uh, to list? Mm, no. Hi, how are you? If the sandbox inside, I can't believe I did that whole entire murder spree in this outfit. I think that just means I'm an even bigger psychopath. Also, how is the yeah. backpack and agility buff? I feel like if anything, it should be a debuff to agility, but I'll take it. That was the that was really the one thing that I was super sad about in Cyberpunk is that the sandbox was just not really a sandbox. That kind of stunk. But again, I still I still really enjoyed it. Top 10 soundtracks in my opinion. I love the soundtrack. Thought the characters were great too. Like if I hear uh 
the intro like when you boot up cyberpunk if i hear that track i start thinking damn i kind of want to play cyberpunk right now <laughs> where am i going sell drugs yeah sell drugs Where's the buyer? Get out of my way, please. Hi. I'm sure I have something you need. Do we need to sleep again, or is he Let's gonna be refreshed? Let me know what you like. Damn, he's out of money. Thank you, kind sir. AKA Rex. Whoa. Appreciate that. Thank you for the tier three. Tier threes are very rare. Okay, that's not a good victory tune. Wait, oh, that might have been. There you go. <laughs> there you go. You get a victory tune. I appreciate it. Thank you for a tier three. So far, so good. I think there's only ever been maybe five of those ever. Trade for flamer fuel. We could trade for flamer fuel. I think we have to do that at Handy Hardware. What song? It doesn't tell me when I when I click on it on my thing. It just picks randomly from depending on the genre I pick a bunch sure. of different tunes. Take a look. Great. Man, you're out of money too. He doesn't have very much. I think I just have to store my stuff until the next day. Yeah, wait for their inventories to reset. Welcome back. Nice to see the Commonwealth. But in the meantime, I know something productive we can do. So store all our junk. Keep the napalmer. Store the backpack. Buff out. Actually, no, I'll hold on to the buff out. I guess I'll just hold on to everything for now. Am I still thirsty? Noodle cup. Three noodle cups to fix everything, get rid of the drugs we took. Uh, I want to get some sanity back and there's a ton of feral ghouls right in this hallway So let's check it out Rex I appreciate that very much. Thank you. We got to take out this turret Except the explosion of it's gonna kill us Or not I don't want it to take my kills, though, on these ghouls. Not great that it's not amazing at getting headshots on the ghouls. What do we got? Is it? It's a toxic cocktail. That won't do that much damage to them. burning through my ammo I'll take it though for a relatively stress free trip bit of a bummer though it's, it's inconsistent with the damage see like Damn, now we're out. No way I'm gonna die. Get the fuck out of here. Ugh, that's a bummer. It, like, on some of the feral ghouls, it was shredding them. But then on some, it felt like I couldn't get it to register that well.
They're moving pretty quickly, too. See, like... Maybe I'm just missing the headshots on them? Ninety-four XP, good amount. A little bit better on our ammo here. Nice. Same amount of ammo, same amount of ghouls. Cleared them all out. Joan's journal. What's Joan got to say? No, not this one. We already read this one. Oh, that's right. I remember this one. Airport station. Pretty sure the airport is right through here. And when we get in there, there's a laser turret right up on the wall. chance we can avoid it stealth boy not too bad we close to leveling up yeah we got a ton of xp there but mainly i wanted to use all that fuel go through clear out a bunch of feral ghouls what's her sanity at now Last time, it was at 23. Now it's all the way back up to 37. Nuka victory, novice terminal. Please tell me we can make this friendly. Biz zero, B-I-D-S zero. Loan with two. Hello, and E. Hello, and E. Hello, and E. No. Hello, and E. It's going to end in N-E. Uh, no, it might be L-O. No, lock is just one. Second letter O. O-N? Home. Second letter O, fourth letter E. But we'll reset our tries just in case we're wrong. There we go. There we go. It's just going to shoot at me, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, it's just going to shoot at me. Maybe I should have, uh, you think I should have saved my, what's it called? I got an idea, though. Headshots. Come on, come on, headshot. There you go. Lots of XP. Okay. Never mind. I really need to update this outfit. I keep wearing the exact same thing into fights. Project Mojave? I think it is. Yeah. I think Project Mojave is the little snippet of New Vegas that you can play in Fallout 4. It's fucking awesome. It's just... It's like a... It's a looker. Definitely. It's like... It kind of caught me off guard the first time I tried. I really wish I had my napalm. Oh, seven fuel. You think that's enough to just get lucky and get one kill? Let's find out. Nope. No, it's not. It's not. Kill me. Just kill me. <laughs> Let's get this over with.
Well, I want to kill those ghouls. But it feels like a sniper rifle would probably be the best bet. Let's see if we can find anything else around here. Go figure. Then I find 308 rounds. Syringes are worth a lot. 38 rounds? It's only going to do 30 damage. I'll take it, though. Limited ammo, but a couple of headshots on a ghoul. It's just super hard to hit headshots with something like this. More drugs. Okay. Yeah, they're all back in here. Really hoping I could find a landmine. Shit. Shit. Ah. Uh. Woo. Come on. Fuck. God damn it. How do I not get one of those to register as a headshot? Now I'm uncomfortably laying here in the tracks. Could you have at least killed me in a comfortable position? All right, at least we know that this is a place we got to watch out for. I don't want the turret to take them all out, because if the turret takes them all out, I lose all the XP. You keep finding armor pieces everywhere. Why aren't you picking them up? Because I can only carry 90 pounds in total. And the way I'm kind of playing it on this character is I'm, if I'm picking things up, I'm picking them up to sell. And the effects of armor on this mod are very, uh, they're not like in vanilla. Yeah, we got to find some landmines. It's probably our best bet. Or Caltrops? Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe we make Caltrops. We can break their legs. If we turn them all into crawlers, it's going to be easy. And I should be able to use the vendors in town. Just take all the junk. I'm right by home anyway. We'll deposit it. Yeah, let's make cow traps, throw them around, break their legs. You'll always be welcome here. Oh, now see now she's finally talking nice. It took her so long. <laughs> so long, I appreciate her. Yeah. Huh? Chemistry. Do we have a chemistry bench? It's right here, right? Armor workbench. Yeah. Yeah, right in here. Caltrops. Adhesive and steel. Okay. So, need more steel. Could probably break down that pistol I have. No. How did I not pick it up again? Where was the pistol? I just had one. And then I died. That's right, I died. 
I keep forgetting about the part where I die. But either way, we can talk to Handy. No, not Handy. Other guy has more junk, the buyer. Pocket of jorts kind of guy. Never been a jorts guy. Yes. Huh? Yes. Hi. Looking to buy? Let's see what you have. Here's what I've got. I really doubt that three caltrops is going to be enough to do much. It's possible, but I really doubt it. He also does not have a lot of steel. Ugh. He doesn't have any adhesive either. This trade is over. Oh man, there's all the flamer fuel. I forgot I sold him a ton. What is it to buy back? 5,600. Oh no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm good. Huh? We'll make do with the three cow traps we got. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, the first merch drop we ever do. We'll do uh, jorts. You all excited for some Juve branded jorts? You'll always be welcome here. This is such a terrible idea. Gotta run it all the way back there. Just to throw out some useless cow traps. Let's see. I mean we kill we kill three or four of them somehow with three sets of cow traps. If we get them to stumble with the cow traps right when they're about to touch the cow traps we throw on jet they stumble we get in some hits whatcha 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 maybe we start them off with the napalmer actually try to hit a group i doubt we can get them all into a group though i have an idea have I become a jet addict again? Not on this run. Actually, it's been much less necessary. So I think what I want to do... Is, yeah, this is probably the best bet. Look at that, almost killed him. And then I still let him get me. Yeah, it's too much radiation. I give myself a death there. We gotta go Rad X. I do have one Rad X. I also do have Rad Away. So that made me thirsty. See way less damage this time already. I think I've kind of figured out the hitbox. Although I'm poisoned and I'm totally going to die here. I don't know how to survive poison. <gasps> Ooh. Just kidding. I survived poison. Charging. He's going to go right into the cow traps. There we go. They touch. Jet. Stumble. Stumble. 
come on. Got him. Oh, we actually got it. Nice, nice, nice. Five, fall back. Okay, we got a little bit of a sickness. We got some weakness. Not the worst possible outcome. Honestly, it could be way worse. Only one that's left is searching. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Cut my losses. I'm going back home. Let's go back home. We'll take the XP. We're almost next to... Uh, we almost have Idiot Savant. We gained minimal radiation there. We're a little bit thirsty. Immunity is a little bit low, so we got sick. That's it. Give me the cash. Take the junk. Collect on our way back home. Very good. What did I run for? I was running away from a glowing one. Glowing feral ghoul. I mean, we'll probably take chem resistant at some point, but it's just not my like go to right now. I want to make mystery meat. Why can't I make mystery meat? I want it. I want some mystery meat. Sounds fun. Yes. What time is it? 1 a.m.? Let's get some sleep. This should reset the inventory of hopefully the buyer because we need to make some money back after I got railed by my insurance. Absolutely nailed. Mildly de dehydrated. You know what? Fuck it. I'm ch I'm chugging dirty water. Yeah, that's right. Properly hydrated, all on dirty water. Didn't catch a single disease. I'm different. My guts, my guts are made out of steel, or I guess lead, because that's just in the name of the yes. perk. Lead belly, after all. But still. Oh, I just ate way too much food. But our sanity's up to 39. It's not bad. It's getting better. A little bit. No ass worms. Right. I really want to get to the library. How are we going to get there? Let's drop the napalmer back off at home. Since I need to find more ammo for it in order to use it again. Huh? Cross your fingers, chat. You? Say a quick prayer. Hopefully, my guy at campus has something for me. This guy needs to stop hiding out in the back room. I'm tired of losing you. Let's see what you have. Let me know what you like. Oh my gosh, she's out of money still. Dude. This is not good. This is bad. This is very, very bad. I need money. I didn't wear the armor I brought with I don't need armor, Groovy. Okay? I need my flats and my booty shorts. That's getting me through the apocalypse. Was that Nick Valentine? That, in fact, was Nick Valentine. Be careful out there. Be careful out there. Okay. I'm 
stinks that I haven't had a real ranged option, though. I've had some. We found a lot of landmines. You know what? Maybe... Maybe I need to go find the... Hold on. Yes, I know where we need to go. Okay, so if you remember when we first started this run out, we came to a crossroads where we decided to jump down the hole. We landed there. Then we ended up finding the Old North Church. We went through the Old North Church. After that, we kind of really stopped going the basic tunnels route right in here. So like we followed this route after we take out the feral ghouls, we turned here, we jumped down there. We did not go this way. There's still stuff to do this way. I'm hoping it's just basic survivors that we can fight easily. I forgot about the dogs. There we go. We got our level up. Unfortunately, they're not going to drop any food for us now, but we're doing okay on food. Lead belly two would be nice, but no. We're sticking to our goals. Idiot Savant. All right, we're not going to save scum Idiot Savant, though, at all. No save scumming. If it activates, it activates. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But we're going to take it. Should be a huge boon to our XP, especially if it activates on the right enemy. So maybe we'll die in the middle of a fight and re-kill an enemy worth a ton of XP and get it to activate. Don't remember taking these folks out. Ooh. Heavily damaged combat shotgun. Patriot's note. Oh, there's a lot of dead bodies in here. Don't remember exploring in here. What's this fella got for me? There are too many. We don't have a choice. Marie and the others have it all set up, but they need time. Twelve rounds. I don't fire till I see their eyes. Twelve rounds? You jerk, you used them all! You know, I could have used them. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. My apologies. My grandest apologies. You went down swinging. And you didn't miss a single shot. Rest in peace. I, 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 that was, that was, uh, that was rude. Bastard. Wouldn't it be great if we got our very first, uh, I don't have any ammo for it. If we got our very first... Idiot Savant to activate right here. Come on, headshot, headshots. Not a single fucking headshot. Why did it look like it was a sensor bar over my weapon? He used a dead eye. <laughs> he did. He used chewing tobacco right before. Ah, oh, damn it. I looted so many of these ghoul bodies. I'm grabbing bones and whatnot. I'm just hoping I can take these back home and there'll be steel. I'd like to make more caltrops. Those are really effective for the ghouls. Caltrops combined with jet and somehow magically landing melee headshots. Nice try, pup. Not today. I don't have time for this. Looks like my arm's about to go. Oh, that dog actually hit me. Damn it. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Cow traps? Oh, that's right. I forgot we called them that. Okay, may you rest in peace. Congratulations, you're a brave warrior. I'm proud of you. Very inspiring. Loot, loot, loot. Loot and all of this. 
See, this kind of stuff was super annoying to keep redoing. So we'll just save here. They're gonna crawl through the ceiling. Oh, through the tube, that's fun. You've gotta be fucking me. Just kill me. Kinda cringe. Kill me faster. Oh, I don't have any rad X. Did that injure his leg? No. He's still coming at me. That's so... Oh my god, that's so crazy. It's a bad idea to try and fight him on this angle, because then I can't get a headshot. Thank you, kind sir. It's party time. Jill Daggeth Dance Horned 120 hype. <laughs> I appreciate it, Quantum. Thank you. Random, but who do you believe should rule Skyrim? Stormcloaks or Imperials? I got no fucking close. No fucking clue. Close? The hell am I talking about? I have no clue. I usually just pick whenever I'm playing the game. Whichever whichever I'm vibing with at the moment. Uh, usually it's like whichever armor set I put on and I'm like, yeah, that looks kind of cool. Uh, this is going to be an annoying fight. But if I'm going to keep dying and by rule, still be allowed to hopefully get Idiot Savant to activate on one of them, I'm down. But instead, I'm going to get right here. So I'm above. I got the high ground. Come on. All right, we got them both. I'll take it. No idiot savant, but we got them both. Barely took any rads. Nice and clean. Love that. Yeah, that's we had to get the high ground on him. It's so weird. It's weird trying to get melee attacks to register as headshots on ghouls. Not a huge fan of that. But at least if you're able to get it to trigger, there's a huge damage buff. I just got lucky and had them stumbling. All right. How many more are yous? Federation fatigues is worthless. I think these are worth a decent amount. No, they're not worth anything. Scalpel, that's steel, right? Yeah, I'll take it. We only need five steel for every... What's it called? Oh shit, I did get addicted to Jet. Alright, let's cure it. Feel better, but still thirsty. Oh my god, I remember this. Okay, there's a ton of them at the end of this hallway. I really wish I had that rocket launcher right about now. Toxic Cocktail won't be able to kill him. Yeah, there's like seven or eight of them. So the last time, when we were on the last character, we ended up clearing up this hallway. We pushed even further through the tunnels. And that's when we ended up in that one room where we were kind of locked in. There were just too many feral ghouls. We couldn't keep taking them on. We had almost no health. It was bad. So I think I'm going to head back. I, I hate backtracking and running all the way back home. 
but I'm going to. Take the Patriots note. Did I not grab it? I did not. Good call. Thank you. Yeah, we were finding a lot of grenades at the start, mainly because I knew where so many of the early traps were. I could just easily find the grenades. Fungal Moonshine is really good. Probably shouldn't be getting rid of that. Is this a shortcut? This might be a shortcut. Okay, chill with the random radiation at the intro. What's going on? Yeah? Hey, be careful out there. Worth double checking again. Maybe the inventory reset. I doubt it. Although, if I can trade in a bunch of stuff and just buy a landmine, now's the time. Yes? Hello. Oh, I'm hammered. <laughs> I'm hammered. I've got a few minutes to let me know what you'd like. I still have 60 rounds for the submachine gun. It's only 300 to buy it back. I can't really complain about having the shotgun. But hitting headshots on ghouls, I don't know if it's great against them. I'll probably save the shotgun just to have one in case I find a lot of ammo. Mentats gives back three sanity. I'm going to pop those. Yeah, let's get some sanity back. Weakness, take 20% more damage. Dehydrated. Huh? Yeah. Wait, I didn't even check. Hello. I'm sure I have something you need. Let's see what you've got. Great. Yeah. Still no cash. That's a bummer. I probably have to sleep again, pass half a day. Welcome yes. back to Handy Hardware. Huh? Y'all, I need y'all to get out of the way, please. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right, five sets of Caltrops. That's way better than I thought we'd have. Hi, how are you? Hell yeah. Yes. So the Malden line works as a shortcut. This door works as a shortcut to get back to where we were. They all kind of work as a somewhat shortcut. I just got to think for a second. Use my brain here for a Ooh. You look like someone that needs a drink. We're going to go chug a bunch of dirty water. I feel like investing all of my caps into water purifiers was a mistake. It seems like the best way to go about it is to just chug dirty water. If you want to be really meta, chug dirty water and then just pay the doctor.
Because if you pay the doctor to get rid of or to heal you up, it's 150 caps, which is about the same price as one water purifier, and it gets rid of your diseases. Now, getting rid of radiation, different story. Take a five hour nap. Anyone out there trying to show off and hit the flex your wealth button? So far, so good. Does the price to heal change? I don't think it does. Huh? <clears throat> You'll always be welcome here. Could use some supplies, actually. Sure. Right. She has money. Not anything I really want. I'll just use this to pay for my healing. So 138. Hey Trading? Yeah. See what's wrong. <laughs> uh -huh. Tell me your story. There it is again. <laughs> Just Huh? You look fine, but oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> See, I don't want my doctor maniacally laughing before they inject me with something. Done. No. We're done. Very well then. All good. Back to 100%. Got rid of our disease. Yeah, that's that's it. No status effects. Yes. So, if I was going to go back in time, Hi, how are you? I would just get rid of my water purifiers instead of using those. And you know, honestly, let's keep the ball rolling. Let's keep the ball rolling. Let's let's not uh, deal with, you know, sunk cost, right? Fuck that. We got beat. We had a bad bet on the water purifiers. We bought too many of them. Sure. Let's take a look. Let me know what you'd like. Let's trade. Let's trade. I want I want the flamer fuel. Let's see how much of it we can get. Oh my gosh. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. I'm still going to get railed on the water filters, but the water filters are decent if I'm out in the wilderness and I need to get purified water quickly. So they're not a total waste. So they're still pretty decent to have on hand if we're out in the open world. Um, okay. Then I'm just going to use drugs. Am I trying to hit the 24 hours today? I am not, no. No, certainly not today. This isn't the this isn't the way I want to go. Ah, uh, I gotta stop getting lost. It's starting to frustrate me. Careful out there. Not that kind of frustrating. I'm just getting lost around this place. It's a bit of a maze. But I know that we have a shortcut if we go here. Upcoming plans for streams after crushing this challenge. Um, I need to figure that out quickly. And I'm trying to, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to figure that out. Wrong way. I'm literally all the way back in the intro room. Um... No. Not right now. I don't know for sure what I want to do next. But I would like to get more recordings in fairly quickly. Mainly because I'm going to be moving. Um, and Editor Isaac will have a lot more time over the next few months to cut down streams. Or just to like help me 
go through the process of cutting down, you know, 20, 30 hours of footage. I have a pretty good idea of the stuff that I usually want to use, but it is nice to have it condensed into, you know, two hours, two and a half hours of just the really great moments and then telling the story from there. Because I usually will have a general idea in my head. Um, and since I'm moving at the end of the month, that's definitely going to, you know, we'll, we might go a week, possibly two weeks without streams. So it would be best to have one, maybe two projects after this one recorded and ready to go. I hate throwing these things. All right, come on, fuckers. All right, take a little bit of damage, slow down time. Headshots, headshots, headshots. There we go. Thank you, kind sir. We in the clear? No, there's another one up there. I can take you on 1v1. Not scared. Free water filt. Woo, ew, ew, gross. Die. Disgusting. Yucky. Did I totally just miss an alert? I don't see it in chat. Usually I can see the alerts in chat. What did I miss, chat? Give me the name. Occupation. Location. No, not. No, definitely not location. Oh, Lily, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, Lily. I'm sorry I missed that. What was your message? Type it out. Type it out, Lily. Thank you. That was very kind of you. Just woke up from a nap after falling asleep watching the stream. Honestly, I feel like I could take a nap right about now. This has been a really exhausting challenge. But, you know, I think I am really appreciating this mod um, a ton more. And, you know, the real goal of I want to spend 24 hours of in-game time with this mod because I did have a feeling that it was going to be incredibly grindy, that it was going to take just a Fuck load of time. I did that in the summer shorts again. I gotta stop putting on the summer shorts. Um, and, you know, I've learned so much about this mod. And once I let go, once I finally did what the mod has been telling me to do and I let go, I've been enjoying it. I've been enjoying it. All right, Wilhelm's journal. Have I eaten today? Also, are your legs at a 90 degree angle? They're not at a 90 degree angle. Not quite. Um, but I, I should be working on that. I have eaten today. I had a, um, I actually have this, uh, it's, like a, it's like a protein powder, right? But it doubles as coffee. And if you combine it, I just combine it with water. It's like four carbs. I think so I can have like a coffee breakfast shake. It is super expensive for the whole pack. It's like, damn it. It, it comes out to probably like $3 a shake, but it's super convenient. It tastes great and it's protein. Um, so I had that along with, um, I have these like keto bread buns. I've had them on stream before. They're like, br uh, bread thins or bun thins kind of. So, I use those for a variety of different things. Sometimes just cream cheese with like everything seasoning, which we had on stream a couple days ago. But today I combine those with salami and pepperoni and mozzarella, a little bit of Italian seasoning too. And I'll like fry it up kind of like a grilled cheese and then marinara to go along with it. It's very good. And it's also, 
Low carb. I do not eat that much. When I'm not keto, I eat like a shitload. The burn pile kept the muties back long enough to fortify the outer wall. We blocked up the gate. Nothing but wood and metal now. But we all know it won't hold. There are too many of them. This will be my final entry. Chief Security Officer Fred Wilhelm. Patriots PlayStation. Metro Federation. Dude, if this is your final entry and you're in the middle of dying, why'd you have to do the full official signing at the end? <laughs> like, name, position, age, sex, location. You had enough time to sign off your letter officially. You had enough time to raise up your gun and get another shot off. How many died because you had to officially sign that letter? How many died? Can I take this? No. Is it going to shoot me? Bullshit. All right. First idiot savant activation. Don't really like how many of them there are right here. You gotta be careful, gotta be careful, gotta be careful, gotta be careful. Don't wanna lose this progress. We got through that first fight really effectively. Big, huge, huge! Oh, that was massive! We got Idiot Savant to activate on the Scold enemy. Fucking huge. All right, I'm taking all this junk and going back home. That's a, I believe we go through loading screen right there and then we end up in that one room that's just chock full of feral ghouls. How's our sanity doing? We're back up to 49, almost at half sanity. So let's take all the junk that we can. Decent amount of cash in here. Yes, more backtracking. Back to home base once again. Nah, I probably shouldn't. <laughs> that was just habit. We'll leave them be. I don't want to disturb their rest anymore. 308 rounds, not bad. You chose yoga instead of a diet? Hey, that's also great. I, I, I should do yoga more. I really enjoyed it when I was doing it. I was watching, uh, is it Adrienne? Adrienne? She's a, she's a YouTuber and she has all these like, it's like a 30 day yoga thing. And you start with the first video, then the next day you do the next one. And I was doing that for quite a while and like loved it. It's really, really great. Cat cow, uh, downward dog, um, tree pose. Watch yourself. Random dude continues to return and squat in someone's house, bringing back <laughs> literal human spines and rib cages. No, that's truthfully, that's what's happening. Take tin cans. Oh, those uh, the hanging tin cans would be pretty good. Let's see if we can make any more caltrops. Three. Not bad, but not great. Yeah, you're right. I gotta find tin cans. Hi, how are you? Drop off the shotgun. Back to being thirsty again. And hungry. It's all right. We have enough to trade with Kiampa. She's got food. Am I doing okay? Yeah, actually, I, I feel great. I'm not going to lie. I, I feel really good because I, now I, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable going, okay, I think we do have 
enough content to make a video on. Um, Nick, I love you, pal, but get the fuck out of my way. Yeah. Hey. Oh, I didn't want to interrupt your steak. I feel bad. Also, I don't want to talk to you. Campo. Hey you look like someone that needs a drink. Let's see what you've got. Great. Mm. The unopened lunch boxes are a really bad price when she has them. Tough deal. Take some buff out. I don't like to use medics a whole lot because I feel like I'm going to die in a couple hits anyway. Psycho, not a big fan of. Take the rabbit leg because I probably need three of them to cook with it anyway. Fungal moonshine? We'll hold on to it. We just popped the rat away. What do you got in here? We got water filters. Let's sell five of them. I'll take a loss on five water filters. Damn, that's about 500, 600 cash. G Train, welcome. This is your first time here. How are you? Double check Handy Hardware. See if he has a gun. Hey there. I'm sure I've got something you need. Let's see what you have. Let me know what you'd like. 12 gauge shells, 55 for each one. Combat shotgun, flare gun, tire iron. No, he really doesn't have a lot. He's really got nothing here. This store sucks. If you need a weapon, you've come to the right place. Obviously not. Wait, what's the difference between these two? I just want to trade a few things. Sure. I just want to trade a few things? So like a regular... What, like he's... Is it human Nick or robot Nick wearing skin? I think it's human Nick. Yeah? Huh? I miss my napalmer. <laughs> I felt so powerful with it. When it was in my hands, I felt like I could do no wrong. All right, let's sleep for eight hours, please. Please let their inventories refresh. I need them. Drinking dirty water, drinking dirty water. Maybe I get ass worms. Mmm, don't you just love when your water's thick? Mmm. Mm mm mm. I love when my stolen water fountain water is chunky. It comes with extra seasoning. Yeah. Oh, I meant to bring this up, y'all. So, so far, we so haven't far. we haven't uh, talked anime in a while, but I uh, I so I did end up finally finishing Hunter Hunter. Uh, I actually really really enjoyed the uh, last twenty five ish episodes of it. I thought that the Chimera Ant arc was dragging a little bit and was a bit too long, but I really fucking really enjoyed the conclusion. Um, I thought it was fantastic. So then I picked up, um, what was it? Oh, also I'm sad that it's apparently like probably never gonna finish or continue cause there's still a lot that uh, they could do with it. Um, then I picked up Monster cause it's on Netflix. I've heard great things about it. I heard it was very different from like the power level, you know, overpowered, people and and monsters and whatnot anime that i was watching yes of, of all the anime i've watched um which isn't a ton not even close it's by far my favorite yeah i'm about halfway through it and 
I've been absolutely so into it every single episode. Excuse me. Fucking fantastic. My favorite, my favorite main character, my favorite villain. Easily. I'll take a look. Sure. Easily. Oh, they refreshed. Yes, they refreshed. I, I, I love it. Uh, the weird, the weird thing about anime is like some people like enjoy certain kinds of anime. Some people like, you know, everybody's kind of got their own preferences, so it probably won't be for everybody. But like this one has like just totally, completely landed for me. Like it plays out. It plays out like an HBO show. And it just it just fucking lands. I love it. I love it. I'm really excited to see how everything kind of wraps up um, in the second half. What do you got for me, buyer? Tell me you got something good. Flamethrower trap? Like, the audacity of him to sell me things that I could use when making a settlement, like, I'm ever going to get that far. Okay, so he's only selling junk. He's just here to buy some shit. All right, at least that means Kiampa probably refreshed and has... Can I get you a drink? Hopefully has food. Sure. Let's take a look. Let me know what you'd like. Food, food... She does have some food, fancy lead snack cakes, and Gwinnett brew. It rhymed! It rhymed! It rhymed. Yes, Dark Sidium, the soundtrack in Monster is fucking phenomenal, and tell me it doesn't sound like Oblivion. Watch it again, and tell me it does not sound like the Oblivion soundtrack. It fucking sounds like Oblivion. It to Every time I'm watching it, I'm like, is that Harvest Dawn? Is that, is that the Oblivion soundtrack? It, it totally sounds like it. Which HBO show are we talking The Wire or Game of Thrones? Um, I don't know if either of those would work. It's hard to describe. So the Oblivion anime, I don't know if it's, it's like that, but Full, full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I've heard about that one. Definitely heard about that one. There's, there's a lot that I've heard of that I plan on definitely checking out. Only anime I have watched was Edge Runners, and I loved it. It has become one of my favorite shows, and I have watched in the past year. By so it's funny, Panda, you say that when I um, so I liked it. I didn't love it as much as a lot of other people did. I did think it was really cool because I enjoyed Cyberpunk. To I'm not going to buy either of those. Um, I did think it was super cool to see a lot of the sound effects and just the world of cyberpunk very faithfully adapted from the game. That was awesome. Um, so I watched it. It was kind of weird. I watched part of it dubbed and I watched part of it subbed. Um, but I watched the majority of it dubbed. And when, uh, a while back when, uh, Kenneth Vig had me on his stream, uh, Chad Fallout 76 podcast is the name of the stream. When I went on there to play Celebrity Squares with a bunch of different voice actors and actresses from around different Fallout and Elder thank Scrolls you, titles, there was, uh, Lurker Dirks, thank you very much for the tier one. When I was playing on, uh, playing with them, God, I, I, I feel really bad for not knowing her name off the top of my head but I knew I recognized her voice. And I'm like, okay, so she plays Rose in Fallout 76, the robot that you get some quests from. She's up in that, you know, big radio tower. And then it clicked, oh my God, she plays um, in Cyberpunk. She played Rebecca, the little uh, crazy gal who had a crush on the main character. And she was fantastic. She was, of all the actors that were in the dub version of Cyberpunk Edge Runner, she was, like, she kind of separated herself from the crowd. She did a great job. And I was like, holy fuck! I'm playing Celebrity Squares right now with Rebecca from uh, Edge Runners. It was super cool. Where? Wait, am I... Oh, suppressed immunity? That's it. I was like, am I thirsty? Am I hungry? Be careful out there. You know, honestly, the best way for us to probably keep proceeding 
is to do this trade-off where we've gotten a lot of our sanity back. We're back up to 50 sanity. It's probably the best bet for us to now go back to Good Neighbor, where we were a while back. Clear out the enemies there. Or maybe hit the open world and hope we just don't get a disease. Because I want to keep pushing down the direction we're heading. I'm not sure, though. I think I am going to save up here. We've gotten a lot done today. We're, I think we're pretty close to having enough footage for a, an upload on the channel. Away. All right, we haven't been back on this scene in a while. Um, this is almost a seven-hour stream, so I am going to get going for the day. I'm pretty tired. This was fun. This was a great stream. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. I appreciate it. But it's getting late for me. I'm tired. And I'm going to send y'all over to Snam because Snam is currently live right now. And we love Snam. Smile kindly. I'm so sorry. Numbers, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what Snam's challenge is. He's playing Gears of War 3, I think, on the hardest difficulty solo, I want to say. That's his big thing. Seventh generation video games, usually on the hardest uh, difficulty. And doing all that. So I'm going to send you over there. Appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. If you're on the VOD channel right now, remember to like, subscribe, and... Um, I don't know. You're probably asleep right now. Oh, if you're watching on the VOD channel and you fell asleep. Wake up. It's time to wake up from your nap. Wait, did 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 I send the raid over? It says you are already raiding. Start raid. You are already raiding. Did we raid over? Marcus, I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, 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 bad, bad. Okay, so it, it's. <laughs> Did it? Hold I don't on. Know what to say. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> this is not looking good. <laughs> I don't know why it's being weird. Yeah, we'll tie out. Let me t let me do slash raid snam which is unrecognized command slash raid. Oh fuck off, Twitch. Oh wait, is it going? I'm just going to end the stream and see if it sends everybody over. But if not, go over to Snam's stream. Have a good night.